We are back to break down boys Wade Sensei. Oos. Sensei, today is a very special episode. What's going on, bro? What's going on? You know, um in life sometimes uh you know priorities take over. Sometimes you got, you know, things to do, businesses to build, lives to live. Yep. And along the way, Sensei, sometimes you um, you sacrifice things, you know? Some of us, I don't know. Some some people get, can make it all work. You are one of the people that can make it all work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we try. We try. I know I'm, I'm, I'm beating around the bush. Hey, yo. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. No, no doubt. Okay. Maybe soon. Um, <laughs> because great segue, your boy just started dating again. Clap it up, clap it up. Not the only thing. Never mind. There you go. Um, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just laying. I'm just laying. Damn. We started quick. Wow. That did actually happen to me. I think we've spoken about this. We, we won't rehash everything, but that's <laughs> happened. Anyway. What happened? You remember this. After after the last time. Oh, the context is crazy, though. Your boy got broken up with and then, you know what I'm saying, had a one-night stanza. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's I'm your right. man's. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm bad, though. Anyway. Damn. We, we out here. All right? We out here in these streets. Hey, make it, making moves. Making, making moves, moves, baby. Making moves. Now, um, this was – not all of us have our wifey, you know what I'm saying? Congrats to you. Wifey out here killing a game. Yup, yup. One of them. I, some of that. us are looking for one, you know? Bro, I need to hear about this date because okay. I'm like – I, I'm a super like, – I don't know if you know how I am but like when it comes to dates. I, I, I'm so interested to hear about this you, because you, you I am want the not tea. a date person. You want the tea, I am not then. a date person. You like the tea. I know this. Um, yes. So, yeah, okay. My my first date oh, – this is going to sound so embarrassing. My actual like first date in probably a year and a half. Wow. Yeah, bro. This man's in on the grind, yeah, bro. Dude. <laughs> and before that <laughs> – you know, a while before that. So we're back in Damn. the field. I got a little nervous. I ain't going to lie. Uh, so nervous. You bro- when you, it's, it's like when you broke out the freaking ladder. You run those routes again. Oh, 100%. <laughs> that, 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 was back out there. that was way easier. Trust. That one, you know, you stumble and ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? You stumble and fumble and you could pick it right back up. This one, you know, I got a reputation to uphold now. One half of the breakdown. Wait, cost that. We got some things to oh, hold man. on to. You know what I mean? Why what did Why did Swabby was out there, bro? He was out there. So, uh, we go to met this girl. Uh, don't worry about how. Don't worry about when. Okay. Met this girl. Uh, decided. All right, first date. We go into your backyard. Mainly because where mm. I live in Orange County is a little bit. Hard to get to. Let's just say that. Okay. Okay. Uh, where she was at wasn't. It was a. It was a place close to close to where she was. So, all right. Cool. We'll go out. Mind you, like I said, ain't been on a date. Your boy had to go shopping. Okay. I don't have big clothes. You know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the sleeveless and the shorts. Me either. Yep, yep, yep. Same. Guess where I went to go shop. I bro, I don't know. What are the stores now? Are they different? I don't know. My wife literally. What are the to stores shop. now? I went to Easter. I was like, I don't know what I'm wearing. I just, I just whatever. I was matching my wife. I'm like, oh, you guys are matching. Yeah. Why do you think? Because she clothed me that day. <laughs> You're like That's eight why. years old at that point. It's just like dress me. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, are we, what am I wearing? I'm like, hurry up, get my clothes. What am I wearing? I don't know what I'm wearing. Just, I'm not making. I went to Target. Anymore. I went to Target to get clothes, bro. Okay, Target. Hey. People Why are you hating on Target? Let's go. You're crazy, bro. Target is that spot. Yeah, that's great. I just great be spot. going to great Target, spot. bro. I just be going to Target. I ain't gonna lie. Before this okay. little first first date, I was at Target in the home section looking around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we out here, we out here lurking. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Oh wow, you like those pots? Actually, I have a couple in my house. It's interesting. My name's Wade. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> So I was out there, right? Got the good fellas. You know the clothes. You know everybody that go to Target. Okay. No, they got the good fellas. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I was a little bit embarrassed because your boy always wears a 32, 34. Always. Depending on, you wash them, they get a little high watery. I'd be wearing those. 32 cause. waist, 34? Yeah, that's that's hard to find. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> it's, you know what's funny? I'm like reverse. Yeah, that's the normal through. size, 34, 32. I'm 34, yeah, 34, 32, or like 33. Here's the 33-ish. 
Your boy was oh, a 34-34. That ain't good. Mm. That means that gut okay. hanging. Now, <laughs> now, now the self-confidence is falling. All of a sudden, I'm mostly, like, ah. I don't know if I got like, it like ah. that. Yeah, one of those. Yep. The button. Yep. You crinkle and skin you didn't even know you had type thing. You know what I mean? That's wild. Yeah, bro. So Ugh. we do that. Now, here's another thing. You wouldn't know this about me because even though the people want us to be, we're not romantical like that. <laughs> I don't wear cologne like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, why would I need to? Someone was like, oh, you don't right, wear cologne? Right, right, right. No, I'm in my own house by myself. Why would I do that? Yeah, yeah. I'm alone forever, apparently. Um, <laughs> I, I had to get some cologne. And listen, we already at Tarjay. Tarzan. Okay. Go up to the lady. By the way, this lady is not an expert in fragrances, you can tell. <laughs> this is not a... <laughs> this is not a lady that has... That's such a way thing to say. She is not an expert in fragrances. <laughs> well, literally. Dude, if I go to Ulta or... Sephora, and I go in there and there's puffs of smoke. Yeah. I better know that the freaking person behind the register is like, yeah, that's a freaking, I don't know, Suave. That's a freaking yeah, yeah, but it's Dolce or right now, something, right? Like... So I go to the Target. Now, again, you get what you pay for. I'm like, hey, do you guys have men's cologne? She's like, yeah, we got a couple. Walk over there. Hits me with, and, and it, I didn't ask her to do this part, but she just did it anyway. Start spraying it on me. I'm like, hold on a second, big fella. We ain't there yet. <laughs> Start spraying it on me. Hits me with the whatever, bro. There was a good fella's cologne. <laughs> he said, "Big fella, <laughs> hold on now, big fella. We not there yet, <laughs> brother. Oh, hey, hold on, brother. Take it, take a back step, brother. Uh, we're not there. Oh dude. man. So she hits me with the good fellas again. Apparently, they got their own cologne. Smelt like rubbing alcohol. Hell no. We ain't doing that one. No." <sighs> I said, what's the top shelf? She said, it is, oh, I don't know the name of it. I had the box earlier. Whatever it was, $84 make you holla, right? Sold. Bruh. Don't care. Got to get the best. Got to smell good. I took uh, one whiff of that shit, and it smelled like Satan's asshole. I'm like. What? After I bought it. I didn't, because I didn't, at that point, I'm rushing. You, you didn't know? send. Oh, she hit me with 25 different it? scents. This schnoz is only good for a couple. I'm not a bloodhound out here. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. So I took it, whatever. Get back to the crib. Spray it on. Yikesville. We ain't doing that. T two showers just to make sure we were good. No, this man put cologne on and then had to shower twice. Double showered. Yes, bro. My because, man was going through it. Oh, I'm nervous, of course. Now. Going through it. Had a couple of outfits. <laughs> we are. So, I'm the worst. Keep going. We had a couple of outfits, had the black jeans with the blue shirt to bring out the baby blues. I thought maybe, you know what I'm saying, that's working. But here's the thing. The car don't have AC. I've been driving the same car since I was 26 years old. No AC in the car. So if you wear light colors, you're getting pit stains. Oh, uh, no way. <laughs> so I didn't. Here's the thing. I was smart. You know okay. me. When I get on the yeah. pod, I wear the same stuff I wear in real life. Black on black, son. Okay, yep. You can never beat it. Went with the black T, yep. did a couple push ups. Uh, so the arms look big, rolled the sleeves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Danny this Zuko. He did the push ups. He did a pregame workout. You have to, bro. You have to. You have to. Okay. You got to show the veins off. You know what I'm saying? Do a couple of, you know, <laughs> grips, a couple of freaking. You Man, know? got some vascularity yeah, showing yeah, 100%. up. Yeah, 100%. You got to, like, do some. Like, you tense, bro? You good? Running you know in place. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm sweating. She's like, what's going on here? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> do the whole deal. Get ready, black shirt, black pants, black vans. I'm thinking I'm 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 killing the game, right? Show up at the spot. Yep. Little little bar and uh little bar and grill. First thing she says, Oh hey, you know, nice to meet you. Oh, do you uh do you do you come over here often? No, no. My first time kinda in this area. Not really been over there too much. Oh, okay, okay. Here this is what we do. We sit down. She's like, Wow, you smell good. I was like, okay. All right. The rubbing alcohol, Satan's asshole's <laughs> working. Maybe she still get a whiffing of it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't disinfect all the way. <laughs> this is great. Right, but you, but you, you toned it down a little bit. I maybe. toned it down. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe you can't have yeah. all of Satan's asshole. You need to have like the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's I don't know. crazy. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Anyway, so I smell good. W. Now, here's the thing. Your boy don't like to date super young. 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
26. We start to play. Yeah, that's young. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We start to, uh, we got to, you know, that's, that's the, that's the, that's the bare end. Now here's the reason. It depends. It depends on the person. That's the thing. Day starts. We might've got a, a, a couple of lines in, you know what I'm saying? I'm hitting her with all the, all the regs. I probably made a mistake saying I was on YouTube. She probably going to watch this. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I mean, what was I supposed to say though? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, no, you know, you can't, you, you can't, you have to just be straight I can't up. Straight up I can't go with a lie straight off rip. No. Oh, I'm in no. computer tech. Like, no, what am I? No, no, I'm on YouTube and probably going to talk about this date after, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, I essentially was like, yeah, I pretty much talk about everything. Yeah. Of course. She's like, you know, what's the channel? Da da da. What do you do? And yeah, she yeah. said, oh, do you, do you make a living off of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We talk. She's a, she's a, a physical therapist. Oh, I'm dope. saying she familiarized with the body biomechanics that, yo, physical therapist is perfect though i was like no after you the know? date can we go and check my hip out it's actually hurting really badly can you <laughs> give me some exercises <laughs> you know what i'm saying um but so we start talking about that and um she, she wanted to talk like i was like oh do you have any youtubers you like she's yeah i like this one um so-and-so's mid though i was like <laughs> <"Whoa>. <laughs> Who, <laughs> you said mid yeah, yeah, they're mid. They're mid. This is when I knew. Yeah. But uh, that's uh, – see, that's weird. Can you say 26, right? Like, my my wife We're is cooked. younger. Than, my wife is younger than 26. But she wouldn't even say mid. Your, you wife, is, your wife is also If someone not, said mid, yeah. she'd be like, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, oh, mid? Like, oh, that's a cool kid saying that. You know what I mean? Like that, <laughs> like I definitely mid, got it, a couple of old, old jokes. I get – yeah, I get what you're saying though, though, because the mid is kind of like uh, you wouldn't ex- when you hear that you think, like that super new generation. She said it with a tone that told me she had said it many times, so I was like, "Oh, yeah. she this is this is her lingo." I was like, "Shit, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, we gotta make a t- we gotta make a decision right now. Are we gonna just allow this? Am I going to allow this?" And yeah, just I know keep you're it moving. That, I, I get what you're saying, though. Or do we like shut off completely right now, shake hands, hey, it was nice to meet you, I'm out of here. Like, dude, what do we do? <laughs> this is a pivotal point in the date. But you never know, though. There could be, like, people, like, in her circle, like, family or someone that's, like, younger. Or she works with people. She's a physical therapist. Maybe she works with younger people, and it just becomes a part of the lingo, like a word or two. This is what I'm, you, this you what I'm relying on. You have to on. get some more information than just one word. This is what I'm relying what I mean? on. This is what I'm relying on. Um, <clears throat> conversations, well. Uh, obviously, not going to talk about her personal stuff, whatever. Right, right. Uh, you could definitely tell. She, I mean, it wasn't a definite. Like, I'm not a. I can read boxing film and footage and do that pretty well. Maybe sometimes yeah. not the best reader of people, but she was like, "Yeah, I've been called a ball buster." Oh, I, you know what's so funny? As you were talking, yeah. Just the, your impression. I've I've always I've already started to paint a picture, and I'm like, I can I get a vibe, <laughs> and then when when you said that she said that. I was like, "Yep, spot on, dude." So I don't know. So I've I've heard I'm "ball buster" in a in a variety of different ways. So again, <laughs> I'm like, "All right, what does that mean?" So I even asked her. I was like, "Whoa, what does that mean?" <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? Because I'm thinking, oh, like you joke around, you're busting, you're busting my balls. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, did he? Exactly, but, exactly. Uh, she looked it up on her phone. And then went, what? oh, I'm this. And it was like dominant, uh, yep. you know, co- <laughs> like not controlling, yeah. but needs control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, no, hey. If, so, if someone admits that, if they admit that they are, that just means that they have, they're very like uh, outgoing, extrovert. E- extrovert. You know, yeah, that type of personality, very yeah. strong, very forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you also, I, so, she was like, "Oh, I just don't, I don't take shit." Oh yeah, yeah, I, bro, I, I was catching this vibe when you said that. When she said, "Oh, you smell good," the way that you impersonated her, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh yeah," because like some people may be like, especially like, um, this may be like a general consensus here, but like females, like personality, maybe like more standoffish or right in conversation, but initiating compliment. Yeah, like, she was and, super. And the way you did it, yeah. you said you were forward about. Oh, you smell good. I'm like, oh, this girl's gonna be cracking jokes. She, she won't. She won't care to uh, make fun of you, yep. or she'll look to poke fun of you yep, often. Yep, 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 yep. You know, and not, I, no I didn't get to that tell her right, right away. Of, 
Yeah, but I know. As soon as you said though, the smelling thing, I said, "Oh, this, this is what I'm saying." You me. read people. See, I'm over here, here like a like, like you a, come here often. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, like I'm I'm, I'm a deer in the wild, you know, or I'm I'm, I'm like a yeah, Bambi no, no, deer. No. I'm like just getting my legs out there, so I'm super kind of yeah. like trying to read it. I don't get it yet, right? Yeah, so I'm no. I'm just I'm carrying a conversation. It starts to shine through at some point that she's <laughs> actually pretty cool. You know, like she's really yeah, like, of course, like she is. She's busting my balls. She was like, oh, you know, when she said something else, and I was like, I, it was another one of the the kiddo phrases. And she goes, was that too was that too young for the old man or something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. I know it. I, I was, know. I was it, like, dude. all right, cool. That's, that's left funny. hook, right hook. Yeah, she shot, started bro. going she's with it. Yeah. She's throwing haymakers. So yeah, we had a good conversation. Uh, she was very funny. Um, we we took a walk. We went through. Oh, we went. So we went like in this area where there was like a college close by. And that's when she was like, what is it? You familiar with one of these things, old man, whatever. She's like, can you be in a certain area here? What are we doing? Oh, she, I, I was I like, she's going right, to be throwing them. One, two, like, okay, three. Buddy. So yeah, uh, all in all a good date, to be honest. Now, <laughs> as far as where it goes in the future, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't, I'll say this. It wasn't like a, I touched her hand and sparks flew. You know what I'm right. saying? Am I a hopeless romantic for thinking that the next time I, I see a woman, I should be swooned? Like pie on the corner of the ledge of the kitchen cartoon floating <laughs> to it? I Maybe. No. Listen, I, I'm going to give you my I'm gonna give you my opinion yeah. real quick. I think... Oh, we now, still got to get to the end of the date, by the way. We have to get there. Okay, you get to the end first. You get to the end first. Oh, you want me to do that? No, I want to I hear just based off what you've heard so far what, okay. where we're at. The thing is, the thing is, now this personality... Like with people, one plus one doesn't always equals two. What I mean by that is that because she's outgoing and a ball bust or whatever, doesn't mean she may be like this, which is what I'll say in a second, in, in a relationship. Mm. But this does not seem like the type for you, brother. Okay. The reason I say this, okay, she's, the, you said the key word, fun. She sounds like super fun to hang out with. I would, you know, to hang out with her, great, all that good stuff. Doesn't mean I think she'd be a bad partner. I don't, again, I don't right. know her personally. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. But styles, like. Styles make fights, brother. She, styles make fights. And her personality, and there's like, uh, not not that she's like too confident, but for, from, for you, you being from the South. Oh, that was another thing, too, by the way. we I, Yeah, that got brought up. Okay. Yeah, you being from the south and like your personality, yeah. and you are, what your work is go 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 yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I think I see you like, oh, man. I just want to be on the porch, kick my feet up, and just let me just slow things down for sure. So when when life needs to slow down, like you want it to slow down. Yep. And if you like want some solitude or want things to slow down or want it to be whatever, that personality may not work because they'd be like, "Well, I don't care right now, <laughs> right?" So and then and again, that may work for the for the latter. That may complement somebody who, let's say, has a more sedentary lifestyle right, in right. terms of more relaxed, and they need that spark, they need that push and that adventure and growth. But where like I feel like where home needs to be a place where you're not always up or something. I, no, again, I, I don't know I, how I know she would be saying. in a relationship, but the arrows are pointed in that direction. No, I, I hear what you're saying. And I think that, you know, there's a part of me that, again, it's a first date. How do you really know? You know, right. Um, exactly. We'll, we'll see. I'm you reaching. know, we, I'm reaching. We, no, no, I, I don't think that you're, you're making bad points. Cause I, I did get that in my head. I was like, this is not, it's going to sound weird. It's not a Southern girl. Right, you know, and yeah, let's go through Wade's past real quick. Let's let's do some trauma <laughs> dump, yeah. Uh, the last Dude, relationship I, I had was a city girl. Yeah, that city girl left you high, your boy high and dry, son. So it, yeah, bro. And and it, the whole thing, it was a little different, but somewhat the same. We went. Okay, I forgot to mention this. We went to a thrift store tonight, and she was. I was I was learning her style. Now, granted, I don't. You and I don't have style. We right. wear what we wear. Yeah. But 
she was like, oh, uh, look at this Carhartt. This Carhartt would be sick. It's, it's the style. Look at this. Look at that. And I could tell there was a very much like hipster trendy. And I started to replay in my head. Right. Oh, no. I've seen this before. Oh, the, the past is coming through right there. Oh, no, man. Baggage in real time, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Baggage I'm in like, real time. I'm like, this is good. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Yeah, no, those I love those Carhartt jackets. I don't have – my dad doesn't have four of them in his closet. I don't know, you know. But it was it was something that I started to go, oh, yeah, okay. Like, people can share qualities, but that doesn't make her – her you know what i'm saying like right. she's different and she was she she talked to me about all stuff that i could relate to too she was like you know talking about some of her stuff her personal stuff and i was like oh i relate to that and in the way i it had just been a while so it was like oh yeah there's common yep. ground here i haven't found that in a yep. while with someone right yep so anyway a lot of good stuff in the date i had a lot of fun fun is the word i had a lot of fun uh, that's good though so we get to the end of the date by the way, your boy's a gentleman. Okay, I just want to make that clear. Of gentleman. course, of course. Always walking on roadside. Don't if you're dating. Let me just say this: I'm not. A, I'm not good at a lot of things with dating, but I am chivalrous. And that's just ingrained into my skull. If you're dating, and you're you're out with your girl, if she's walking on the roadside and you're walking on the inside, you're a pussy. I'm sorry. You're a pussy. Get on the roadside. Oh, also something happened. How am I missing this? There was a guy in a wheelchair that rolled onto the road, and I had to tell her to hold my stuff and had to go wheel him out of the road. I must have looked like a... F- Wade paid him. He paid him. No, I didn't, but I must have looked like it was a someone, million It was someone bo- from chat. No. It was someone from chat. She, it was someone from she chat was coming swooning, through. bro. I'm telling you, she was like, oh, my God, you <laughs> saved that man. I was like, well, look, there wasn't really any cars coming. It's like chat. It's like, thank you for giving me that Lamborghini. Yeah, it's someone to chat just on a real trip. I swear you couldn't have planned it better. Up. It was some like homeless guy had wandered out into the road and there was like no cars coming. But I was like, yeah, I'll just, I was like, don't worry. I ha- It's okay. If I don't oh, make it man. back, it'll be okay. You looked amazing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and just go. Actually, I just walked over there and wheeled him off. Oh, then he man. got mad at me because I tried to like put him onto the sidewalk, <laughs> and he didn't want to go the way I was trying to take him. And he's like, "Hey, I want to go this way." I was like, "All right, like, come shit, on." Dude. And of course, come I'm on. like, "Sorry, come sir, date, I'll put you over here." Like, still trying to be oh, like, "Oh man." Anyway, so anyway, <clears throat> end of the date comes right. Walk her back to her car. Make sure nobody, you know, it's it's late at night. You don't want to be alone out there. Yeah, pretty girl. Don't want to, you know get to the car now here's the part where things are always like up in the air what's next right what's next when you're walking the girl to the door or walking her to her car i'll let you tell me what you think is supposed to be next here in your experience right you're dating i know you're not you're married (laughs) you're married i I get it no no no. but see when you say dating i don't believe in dating so i I, you're i'm gonna be when we talk about this you're gonna be like what bro okay so this is this is here's the situation i'll give you the answer right right right. i believe obviously especially now especially nowadays Mm. the female initiates yeah, yeah, yeah. At, um, to some, obviously, to some extent, because like even you, if you like try and then she's not about it, it's over. GGS, you know, what I'm saying that's a oh, terrible. Oh, it's experience. the ick, right? Yeah, you're done. Right. Then if you initiate and then she's like, oh, but if there's initiate and hinting, and if it's not there, they don't initiate and they, I wish you did. Well, that's also I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that risk, buddy. So that's you know what I mean. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> Sorry, lose you lose or whatever. You know, Sorry, what I mean? yeah. that's kind of like what I'm not. I Straight can't up. deal with that. So, can't deal with the. I'm 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 like, I'm not on a different wavelength. I think that you're probably right. Like a girl has to right. initiate. By the way, at this point in the night, there's not been a lot of like touchy flirty. I've like kind of yeah, nudged right, her right. a couple times, and she's like kind of yeah yeah. You know, oh, vibing, let's go this way, or oh, you saved that man. Wow, you're so jacked and strong. How are your arms that big? <laughs> okay, that was kind okay, of thing okay, she was okay, saying. Okay, you know, okay, okay. Uh, multiple times. I don't know why she's like wow. Um, so at this point, there hasn't been a lot of that. So. I'm at the car. I open the door. Gentle mind. Open the door. Door was a little sticky. <laughs> I was a little, you know, like if you do something, you try to be smooth. You know what I'm saying? You try to be smooth and you open the door and it don't go right away. So you got to give it the second take. I had to do that. I did, shit. that in, I did that in high school one time and never did it again. Bro, 
I'm trying to be a gentleman. Why is your door packed with cement? No, I meant I meant I meant trying to be smooth. I tried to be smooth one time. I was turning the wheel mm-hmm. with one hand. Wanted to keep doing it with one hand, mm-hmm. and then, like my hand got like it was like I had to turn too far. <laughs> So I was like, oh, man. You darsed your steering wheel, huh? You got a darst joke on I stayed committed to it. And it was just awkward. You're over here fucking. I was just showing you a move. This is a move. It's a move. Don't worry. I got you. But you know when you're trying to be like, ah. Oh, 100%. I was trying to be like just like I was like like recently licensed. Like it was like I was young, 16. (laughs) Yeah, 100%. I, I was trying to do so the bad. cool like GTA door open where you like kind of and it yeah. just it, it opens. <laughs> Shit did not work. I had to double take it. <laughs> anyway, pulled the door open, uh, and she stand. You know how she she just like walks over there. You know what I'm saying? Standing in the door. I'm at the door. She's back to her car, facing me. This is the moment. What we doing? Yeah. My am, am I dapping you up and I'm I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun night. You know what I'm saying? Get home safe. We good. What are these? Yeah, what an image is fucking slapped at it. Uh, and actually, that's what I said because again, I'm with you kind of on this. Right, right, right. It's, you don't, it's, you don't be like. It's tricky, man. You know, you, you don't can't know do somebody. That. That's crazy. Right, you can't, you can't go in t- tongue in. So N- next thing you know, you get locked up. You know, <laughs> or dude. So I just went, hey, you know, I had a great night. This is, this, this was awesome. Thanks. She goes, oh, you know, yeah, thank you. And that's when I was like, oh, she, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shamala, Hamala. One of them, the, you know, you, know what I mean? you open the door. She yeah. stepped in. You're good. Yeah, she didn't get straight into the car. She stood there. I was like, hey, I had a good night. You know what I'm saying? She was like, oh, yeah, no, I, I did too. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, so this, now, now I'm in, right? Now, you okay, know, okay, okay. what we're referring to is, you know, you, you give the customary <laughs> kiss good night. All right, that's what we're talking about here yes, for the for yes, the yes, for the yes, yes. feeble eared. Okay, so now I'm in. Great. Now it's just a matter of the start and finish here, <laughs> the starting line and the finish line. Where are we going from here, right? Because it could just be a little peck. You know what I'm saying? Boom. All right, right cool. Right, right. Customary. Yep, yep. That's tricky. You know tricky. what I'm saying? Hey, this is what our ancestors through Juan have done. <laughs> a do you a do, madam? You know what I'm saying, and you out. Very nice. Or, you know what I'm saying? It could be a little passion there. It could be a little passion, <laughs> right? So, and also there's the I'm overthinking this, but there's the there's the way to get to the kiss because you can't really right, say right, it right. like, hey, yeah, would you like to kiss me it. now? But it's normal to overthink it. So, right. I pull like one of the old ones. You know what I'm saying? This is an old school one right here. Like how old we saying? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. This is one I've I've seen freaking throughout the history books. Okay. You compliment the nails. This is why. You compliment the nails, I guess the hands up. Oh wow, thank you. That's where you grab the underside of the hands. Mm. Pull them close, you know what I'm saying? Wow, this is gonna give it up the oh, playbook. Yeah, here. you gotta go compliment the hands, pull them close. Now I'm your man's, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what. <laughs> so I got in, them hands. And now I'm, I'm your man's. Your man's. <laughs> now I'm your man's. Give me them hands. Now I'm your man's. Uh, she had pink nails. They were very nice, and I complimented them. She's like, "Wow, thank you." I was like, "Oh, one more. Here go one more thing. Here go one more then. Bam, come and give me a smooch." Uh, so that happened. Wow, there you go. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Not done. Um, so <laughs> wow. There's more. Wasn't the customary smooch? Oh, it was aggressive. Jeez, aggressive. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not complaining because they. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I didn't leave right away neither. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere neither. Right? It ain't my car around here. I'm chilling. What are we doing? <laughs> Parking lot. Hey, what's going on, man? You trying to find your car? Chill. We're doing something here. You know what I'm saying? One of them. Uh, but at the end of, could have been thirty minutes. Could have been an hour. I don't know. At the end wow. of that, um, your boy got in his car. It's like a TV show. Yep. Boy got in his car. Had to do a little, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you get home safe. Make sure they pull. Here's another thing. You don't leave until they pull out of the deal. Right. Okay. Yep. Can't turn your back and, and, and leave till they, you know what I'm saying? She did have the phone out. As I was walking away, you know what I'm saying? Doing one of these. Where's my phone? This is what I saw. This is what scared me. I'm walking away, right? But I'm I'm walking. Mm-hmm. You know how you do the, the dude does the walk away. You walk around the car, but you're facing. 
Yeah, I yeah. wanted to be the cool guy that did the like walk away and then the turn over the shoulder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Over the shoulder, <laughs> like the He's yeah, the whole yeah, way. yeah. That's right. <laughs> I did just kiss you. Yeah, that's right. You did get kissed by me. Yeah. I'll see you next time. You understand? Know One of them, right? Here's the thing. When oh, I turn to look much. over the shoulder, right? I'm thinking because again, she's facing this way. I'm turning to look over, see like, yo, she looking back at me because I ain't gonna look back at her. She ain't <laughs> looking back at me. You know what I'm saying? So I do it first. I see her looking, but I also see this, bro. She's this way, right? See this. <laughs> As she looks at me with the deal like this. Oh. Which makes what? me think I'm that's a video. Right? The flash on? The flash was on. Oh no. And there brother. was no need for light to be shining. There's we're in a lit parking garage. Yeah. Bro. If I listen, anybody watching this podcast, if I end up on some sort of page talking about this is my baby daddy. It ain't true. All right. <laughs> it ain't true. We're going to find that video, dude. It might be. It he might come clipped. out. He got clipped IRL. It could have been like a very cute, like, hey, I want to save a memory thing. I don't know. Or send it to the girls. He, That's what I'm saying. He sent it. Yeah, yeah. Send it to the girls. Like, this is. Look what It'll I snagged. Anything. Look at this hot piece of ass I snagged. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Right you know, to the girls. Yeah, okay, okay. That's because that was turned the other way, too. Maybe she wanted the cakes. Um. <laughs> what the 34 34s do to you boy so that is where it ended an eventful night uh wow eventful night i would say look I, at this man wade is glowing out here uh, you know what i'm saying it's a light you know I mean? it's a light to get back in the game you know what i mean like imagine yeah, yeah that's great let's do an analogy imagine imagine you're yeah. you're you're we'll do basketball because we don't talk fighting here at all um <laughs> imagine you're kevin durant toward the achilles right Mm -hmm. That first time back on the court about a year and a half later, mm -hmm. you smell that leather. Take Get that first pull up. dribble, turn, pull, is what you hear. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. It's and, a dub. I, and I absolutely, you know what I'm saying? There was no, that thing didn't even touch the rim. That was swish, buddy. Turn around, fader. Let's go. At the buzzer. Um. So, yeah, first date in the books. We'll see what happens. She she asked me, she was like, so we going to do this again? I was like. Oh, wow. I'm down. What's up? This was, to be fair, this was after. Uh, there you go. A little smooch. So maybe I was influenced that's in the dub. moment. You know what I'm saying? But that's a W. I'm, inter I'm interested to see. Because this interested. has potential. Has potential. Potential there. Uh, will the Wade concept ever find love? We don't have those answers. Are, I don't know. Are we doing like a full episode tonight? Or do you want to? Are Dude. you chilling? I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah, I mean, I get, yeah, we could. We do, this is when we record only once a week right now. Yeah, so. fuck it. We need to, actually. So no, no. I, I got to say this, though. Oh, about yeah, dating, ahead, bro. Go ahead. go ahead. I don't believe in dating. Yeah, you mentioned that. What does that mean? I don't. But, but this whole, I can't do the whole, let's meet up, right, in a place where we're going to spend money or something, and then try to, like. Oh, I paid for everything, by the way. Real cheap. Impress each other. See, not me, dude. See, try to impress. Hold each on, other. when you say not you, this is this is not an impressed thing for me. When you pay, that's not like I'm not, I'm not, not impressed. I'm not, well, I'm not saying impressed. When I say like, so like for example, if I were to go on a date with a girl, right, right, you're getting the same me that you would marry, and that you'd be Which is together the way it with in ten years. It's the way it should be, right? Like I've always, I've never, um, like my, I was like going a date, like we can, if you want a food, you can. I can, we can make food or mm -hmm. something or like do something that we already do. Like mm -hmm. I want you in a normal a setting that you're already in. Like I don't go into restaurants often. So like, and going out to eat, we're around other people in a sense, like we're in a public place and then we're sitting doing this food thing. And then you're doing the whole like questions thing. Like how's yep. this and how's that? Which again is all cool. But for me, I was like, no, I want to be like in a, a regular setting to see how you are and how, how we connect doing something that we normally do. You want to like, be I like, wanna you're your, like your, your, I want to wanna, see your real personality. You're like, I want to go to work with you. Right. Yeah, essentially. Essentially. I'm like, I don't want to see you at your best. I don't, I don't want to because we already know we're going to do this. We're going to get our best. So, so I'm not, like to, I don't. I, that's interesting. You want to date want, someone. I want to get right to it, dude. You want to be get like right to the, it. the alarm clock goes and they have just woken up. Hair's messed up. Yep. Yep. Boogers I don't in want, the eyes. I don't want, that's I don't you want you want. dressing up. 
I don't want you dressing up. I want to see what you're going to be. I want to see what. And also, if I don't dress up, are you are like, oh, so is, what is he going to do? If you're looking that for me, as soon as we we're nice to meet you. Handshake, we firm handshake, on. firm handshake, and it's, it's firm, handshake. <laughs> firm handshake. Because like, and and when I like before, obviously I was married a couple years before that. Like when I was dating, it was like that. Like it was like you first knew. day or first interaction. Word. But and I wouldn't even go. They would be like, "Should we go?" Out to, I'm like, I don't, "I'm not trying to go out to eat." Oh, you were. So you I'm, like, were well, I'm like, you. And were, I would tell them exactly what I'm saying right now. Yeah, what, I, what I'm saying right now. Yeah. And if they weren't with it, then I got my answer. If they were like, "Well, that's just weird. That's off." Perfect, because we're not gonna make it worse. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Because we're not, it's not gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Unless we're just trying to, like you say, you're just trying to meet somebody. Like it is like it's different too, though, whatever. right? Because like you said, you you, it's this is almost a blind date essentially, right? right. You you don't know. It's not like someone you go to work with. It's not someone because I, dude, I'm, yeah. I'm here. Even if it's right. someone you meet out, you've only met them a couple times. It's not like you know them. That's part of what makes. I think what you and, and wifey have not, you know, not to get too personal, yeah. but you knew, yeah. you knew her. Yeah. yeah. You know what no, I'm saying? Of course. And like that made it a lot easier, but there was like the, we, and then we like th- knowing each other outside of like, you right. know each other personally as well. Right. It, like, so like, I would like be like, Oh, would you want to go to the, like, if you go to the gym, let's go to the gym together. Right. Like we, you, what else do you do? Let's go do that. Or I do this. You want to do that with me? Right. Do some you know? personal, some, some, right. Because interest. I don't want, like, I, because this is what happens. People date each other for years. Not knowing. And then and then what happens is when life gets real and exactly. gets difficult, now they have to be themselves. But then you fell in love with the person that you didn't know was that. And then you're like, I'm comfortable enough to be myself now. But now we've been together so long. Now I care about you so much. Now we're afraid to just go our separate ways. Or we're afraid to confront each other. We're afraid to speak up. Or we're afraid to be like, listen, I don't really mess with that the way this – I don't really agree with that. And the same thing when it comes to like That's having real. kids and raising a family. Real, bro. You'll be with somebody for for years and don't discuss how you – what do you think about raising kids? How about, how about teenagers? Mm. What if a teenager does this? What if a kid does this? What are you going to do? Because this is what happens. People – the kids will turn 10, 11, or 12. They do something, and then mom and dad are completely opposite on how to deal with the 12-year-old. 13 year old then they get divorced and the 13 year old's like what what <laughs> yeah think so it's their our, fault so, honestly right exactly yeah. and again we we people live through this yeah 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 right we're all products of a lot of this stuff thanks right so it's like okay for me i'm like all right hold up I, I can have fun and we can like you know like date people and get with people but like in terms of like the <laughs> hey, hey, family you know step what I'm you know what i'm saying do that. That. You know what I'm but like <laughs> family step and all that stuff as i got older i was like nah nah bro we, we cutting through all of that got to have to this is what i am you know what i mean and like the whole I'm, I, you just also I was like, you, I'm, you show up I'm to not the table paying for you i'm not paying for you unless i feel like we invested in charity already i don't even know you why am i paying for something for you i don't know you, you know i mean that's, that's real that's real <laughs> i it's and just a walk it up even it I know, but again, that's I'm saying just me. I'm saying just me. Yeah, yeah. but like, that's real. Though. I don't that's, think that, it's that wrong, makes sense. but it's finding it makes the right. Exactly. I, so it's, I since I know myself, makes sense. I'm like we're gonna. This is we're gonna get right to this. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then and then we get through. We we have not like literally Alana and I, hmm. we argued more in the first two months of our relationship than we have in the last six years. You settled it. In the first two months, it's like we're getting through everything. You know Once we get through everything, yeah. If we didn't get through that, all right, we weren't. We, then Dude, we're not you know getting divorced doing? at thirty-five. We're not getting divorced at forty-three. We're yeah, not getting bro. divorced yeah, 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 with yeah. two kids. We're not going to have two kids and then get work. We're not doing that. So we figure out the first two months. Now we're locked in. Now we can say whatever to each other, and we have this. When you say like we're our our dialogue is extremely open. Our dialogue. I hit the know? I hit the girl tonight with one of your quotes. I don't know if it was verbatim, but I paraphrased you. I was like, "Yo, one of my best friends tells me." all the time that some of the biggest failures in, in relationships in life are communication issues always. Yeah. Oh, facts. And, uh, I was like, yeah, he'll be proud of me for that one. And, uh, she was like, Oh, what do you yeah, mean? Bro. I was like, think about, cause her parents were divorced too. I was like, think about the, the, the things that almost every couple that you hear about getting divorced, you know, the big reasons why weren't because like what you said, 
they they didn't love each other at some point. It was all and they didn't even know each other. They didn't know either what they, they were don't getting know each into other. or facts. The communication wasn't there or whatever. And she was like, "Oh my god!" Or someone didn't know themselves, right? Exactly. Yeah, facts. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. You you the way you date is like the right way, but it would, like most people today, it was would tough. Call it, it's tough. It's impossible. It's like it's like impossible because here's the thing, especially if like you're in the city. Mm. Talking about city people move fast. That's what I was gonna people, say. So you're like you're a small town kid living in the city. It's tough, right? So me, you know, I'm like a small town guy. So I was like a lot of misses, like you know, what I mean? things weren't working, mm. and it was okay. like it was a lot like oh, it wasn't like oh, this girl's kind of working out. And no, it was like. Big halt, not work, not work. It was like, damn. I was, it was uncomfortable for them too. Like it was did uncomfortable. You, did that make? But you I'm like, I want to get through this ever. And what you were thinking, or did you just know that was the way it was going to have to be? No, because I had already been in two long term relationships at least four years before that. So you knew, like, this is this is how it's going like, to have nah. to go. Yeah, I, the first one, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm going to try this again. The second one, same thing happened. Nah, but GGS, I'm done with this. You yeah. know what I mean? So again. I was already like you'd already tried the person that who's been divorced, yeah, essentially, tried that. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I was, I, I knew, don't have any kids and don't get married until you're sure, right? So once, and then once I cut through that, I said, oh, instead of waiting four years, because essentially what happened, bro, I waited until three or four years to really get to, to know get the other degree. person, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then to get to know me, and then as soon as we figure it out, we're like, this ain't working, yeah. This ain't working. This doesn't make any sense. That's not forces. And what people do, they get married or have kids before they do that. And then they get stuck and they don't want to. And then they just hold on. And then they're 40 years old and go, I'm only going to live one life. Screw it. I don't care. Yep. Right? So I'm Dang. like, no, no, no. I'm going to do this now, bro. Facts. I'm going to do it early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you know that you're ready for to make that kind of commitment. Facts. But that's yeah, my we'll opinion. See. But it we'll makes see. people super uncomfortable. Because I'm no, like, it's, it's, we pay, yeah. it's you paying? <laughs> I'm like, wow. It's refreshing. She tried to be fair to her. She tried. Oh, I love that. I love that. She tried. I gave her the highs of impose. I was like, eh. But I'm like, hey, then if you show me you're down, yeah. Oh, that means that we can. That we, means we can raise a family together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, then I go, no, I got everything. Oh we yeah, just, like I'm, you, you make the effort. Cool. I'm a, I am, a, I am a like a. It's bad, but I be tested. I'm it's like, not, it's not see, bad. Though. Let me test your gangster. Let's see what you're really Facts, about. Because if you're bad. gonna raise my kids, you're gonna be the mother of my children. We gotta be mm. in that. We gotta be in the cut. You know what I mean? Like that's not a yeah, bad thing. Life could get. This is nothing. This is dating, bro. Raising kids. That's not a bad kids. thing at all. That's a good thing yeah. to take away. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna test her on date two. I'm, I'm, if I come back and I've been punched in the face, Listen, you don't know just, why. It, it may happen. I'm telling you, it's not like good advice. It's like no, it is good it's advice. Scary. It's, it's just, very risky, but it's like you it's know what I mean. It's not. It's good advice. It just doesn't play well in 2024 because nope. of and what it doesn't play well in, in initial of, dates and first impression. No. It's terrible first impression. But it does prevent, like, but if you can get to at, at, like in kids at forty years down the road, right? You know what if I mean? Like can, twenty years down the road. If you can get to that point where, that like you said, a couple months in and and that stuff is done, it's GG, bro. Like everything else is whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, I, you, we got to be homeless together. Can you be homeless with me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks. Like, can you do that? If not, then then what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> then go get your go do your thing. You know what I mean? Not everyone's like that though. Some people <laughs> don't want that. Like as me, I'm, as a me, that's something I'm looking you're for. Just, Not you're everybody just wants more, that. You got to be willing to ask for what you want and what you're looking for, and be honest about it, and be like, "This is me." Yeah. And then, do you accept that? And do you appreciate? It? Do you do you vibe with it? And then, yeah. great. But when you try to keep it, like, you know what I mean? Like hide it a little bit, nah, bro. You're so essentially you're just like I don't want to do the the show and dance when we're trying to get to know nope. each other. That's all it is. We could do that. We could do that later for fun. Right. That can be the, the the show and dance is the fun part after we get this thing figured out. And then you're trying to do this whole guessing game. I do that right off rip. I ain't trying to impress you. I don't know you. Let's have fun. You know what I mean? And then we vibe out. And then we do. Then, then, then it's this organic. Right. You know? I do the opposite. I'm like puffed in the chest. <laughs> get my but cologne again, on. You know what I'm again, saying? Again, I'm saying that's just me, though. But that's probably the right way to do it. That's why I'm out here fucking... You know what I'm saying? I get all excited about stuff. But that's then, why small town people usually go with small town people. That's people a big point. Because it, it usually rolls in together. Yeah. It's very rare that it doesn't. Well, it's just you know? the same. It's the, the, the culture of it too, right? Like you're brought up in a certain yep, area. The, that's the thing. Cult, you'll find out if the culture vibes mm-hmm. and connects and those things will, you know, it's going to be easier to have conversation. Bro, I'm, just going, I, I'm just going back to Tennessee. Fuck it. You just can't be afraid to have a conversation. I'm going back. Which oh, means yeah, you can't we, be afraid to be yourself. Facts. Well, bro. Outside of my dating perils this week, uh, there's been a lot go on. Mainly, 
in the influencer boxing space, honestly, not much happening. Not much. There not was, much happening. Mike Tyson came out and just said something about like it's a, it's an exhibition, and we already knew it was an exhibition. Yeah, pretty much. Did, was, uh, was it Nikisa the, from Jake that said, don't believe anything about the rules of the gloves? Nothing's come out official. I think they were because people were, were putting out. Speculating. Speculating, right. but using like hard numbers to do that. Like, I don't remember. They were like two minute rounds. Right, right, right. 16, da, da, da. I know because Mike has now said this is an exhibition that it will be that. I just don't know the parameters, like you said, of such. But let's right. listen so to Mike. Is- I don't even know if we can play this, Christian. You might have to, you know, finagle this because Fox News. But here is Mike Tyson. I haven't actually watched this entire video yet. On Fox News talking about the Jake Paul fight. This is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. I don't I don't think he's faster than me. What do you think about that before we get into this next part? Not good. This is an exhibition, but it's not under the laws of a normal exhibition. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about what we said he's not he's not no, faster yeah, than Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get to that part in a second. Um I don't know what that would mean. Maybe there's just probably, there's probably going to be judges. Gloves. And 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 cuz most of the time exhibitions don't have judges. Well, he said this is going to be a fight, which which means the no head guards, gl- probably gloves and then duration Are they in of tins, rounds. you think? Well, if exhibition typically you're talking about gloves and and, and duration gloves. of time. And obviously that usually head gear or not, but obviously no head gear. But but gloves. The gloves are a big deal. Yeah, if they're in tins. Whew. So he said, this isn't going to look it's like an exhibition. Fight, he said, yeah. You can still have an exhibition with headgear and, and bigger gloves and have judges. So to me, it's like, he said, this is going to be a fight, which means the danger is going to be real, which means the gloves. You know what I mean? That's Bro. what I'm getting at, at least. Ten ounces, potentially. Any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. I like how Mike talks like he's Italian. He does like the hand thing. I know. I love it. I love it. I love I it. I don't think he's faster than me. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Will you please? Pro- so this is a little bit cut up. That's scary. Right? That's Happy scary, Punch though. just cut this up. But just that part right there. I don't know if he went into detail on Jake at 16 and if he's seen. He has to have seen Jake fight. He's talked about it. Of course, he knows Jake. They know each other. Right. So, I don't know <clears throat> what the context of that was. But, essentially, he's saying, I'm in for a fight, but I think I'm faster than him. I don't like that. I don't either. I should hear no- I should hear nothing physical in terms of an advantage for Mike Tyson. It should be, listen, he's younger, he's faster, he maybe stronger, but my experience, I'm going to hit harder timing, and, you know, time beats power and speed, all that good stuff, and ex- my experience... And, you know, and being a championship fighter and all that stuff and a boxer and understanding the game. You know what I mean? But he he, but he honestly probably fast. means it because what I was know. Mike in his prime? He was faster than a lot of guys. He was. Yeah. It was more explosive, yeah, for sure. faster, quicker. So I'm sure in his he head. He might be in certain instances. He probably is certain in certain instances quicker with his feet. That's what I'm saying. That's like that. In his head, he, he probably pockets. goes, yeah, I, I move differently than this guy does. You know? Right. Of course. So, I mean, I don't like that he said that he's faster. Because I don't think if he is, it's going to last right very long. So let's hear more about the, the cardio is what I want to be mistaken. And you're you're not taking punches. Will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. Right now, I'm, fr- I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. You, you want to teach him? What do you think? When you see, when you hear that, that my friends is delusion. Put your money on a nasty. This is what happens, though. This is what happens KO. with fight. There's certain fighters, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and and even athletes. Some people know when to leave the game, but none of the greats. Some do, people man. just can't. None of them do. None of the greats do. They don't. They none leave the do. game too late. And that's in or every somehow sport. they get convinced like this situation. They get it. It's boxing, and you don't have to do the actual pro boxing, because obviously Mike Tyson couldn't fight pro boxers right now. He couldn't even do it at the end of his career, twenty years ago, or what was that? Yeah, twenty years ago. Yep. Right. Yep. Maybe maybe longer. So if you couldn't do it then, right? You can't do it now. But obviously, it's like well, it's Jake, so it's a little bit different. So now I get an opportunity to get back into the game. Yeah. Get back and find. And it's just oh yeah. 
when you should have left when you should when, when you left you should have stayed out the game you know what I mean but dude so and he goes I'm invincible like right now he's scared oh I just don't know no you're you no know, you're not you're 58 yeah that's the thing is Mike obviously is talking about his mentality right because no one that can hear that statement and look at him and know his age and know his ailments are going to go, yeah, you're physically invincible. That's not the case. Mike yeah. has to be thinking, this is how I've prepared for fights. Mike's talked about it in, in interviews since he's retired. He's like, I was I was so scared. I was That was what drove me as a person. I was scared when he was in you know his, his childhood and the yep. whole thing that yep. went on there and his abuse and stuff. But as he got more ferocious in the, in the, you know, the whole thing... <laughs> He became a monster based off that fear that he channeled into like an invincibility. I'm so scared of doing, of, of losing, of being hurt that I'm going to hurt you so bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hurt yeah. you so bad. Uh, and that's the mentality he's always carried. So sure, uh, he can think his mentality is that he is invincible, but his body surely is not. And again, this is like what you said, the greats, this is like what know. you need in order to be great because yep. you have to be delusional in that yep. sense. Yep. You know, but it just doesn't go away. No, it doesn't. And <clears throat> it's unfortunate. I'm invincible. Yeah. You, you want to teach him a lesson. I will do just that, but dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful. And no, it's not from that perspective. This is called an exhibition. But it so there it was, man. Yeah. Mike is, he's honest, you know, for him. And himself. I heard him. He was upset about people saying that because he's 58. They're upset because he he's 58. Another, he did another, uh, another, like, part of this interview. I, I, I don't know if it was an interview, but it was, like, a message where he said about him being 58. And he was like, listen, the things that I've done, like, and he started to defend himself. And it was like, but it's not, we don't want you to get hurt at 58. Like, people in the comments are like, Mike, it's not. <laughs> You're going in. You're back. Right, I'm upset at you for it. Back in. Is it kind of like the last Rocky movie? You know, and, and it's almost like he's been taking it personal. He's like, oh, you think I'm 58? Yeah, I can't do anything because I'm old. You know, it's the like base. it's the way he needs it's to take it. Fight. Honestly, but it's not. I don't know if I it's know. gonna. But you need to get it out. You know, Sh Sean, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Yeah. And that's how it is. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. It's just, it's rough to look at his face after he says that. You know what he looks like, honestly, right here a little bit? He's got like a little Ugh. Floyd Sr. look going on. He does. You know what I'm saying? Wow. He little does, Floyd yeah. Sr. in this face there. And Floyd Sr. had those same eyes when he said something. He yeah. believed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Even if it was just batshit crazy, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, listen. Oh, did you see this? This was hilarious. I don't know who this guy is, at... but uh, some... I guess some influencer was like trying to hit the mitts and he almost punches Mike in the face. Watch this. Damn. Yo, Mike. Yo. Yo. Mike's like laughing. He's and all in of a fight sudden mode, there. though, dude. He's in he fight switches. mode. That switch. Watch when he says That's it right not, here. Look at his look right there. This That's is so funny. Mike. He's like, he's, he has no idea what he's looking for. And he almost punches Mike in the face right here. Look at what Mike says. He goes, calm down. <laughs> he says, calm the fuck down. And then he does it again. <laughs> He knows this guy is a fucking wild and has no idea what he's doing. So he goes. <laughs> if you make a mistake, I'm yeah. Fuck you up. <laughs> no, 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 crazy. Like he's not joking. No, he's not at all. Those mists of the ground and it's 100 percent. It's on site. That's what I like though. I like old man Mike telling people off. Man. Oh Go man, ahead. man. That's amazing. But even, the, even the way he's holding the mitts, he seemed like a little bit off. He wasn't able to pick up on the guy's off timing. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. Yeah. That, he was well, holding the mitts and he was a little... I mean, the, the guy was awkward, is, but still. Yeah, but you, still. Could, you could try to pick it up, I guess. 
But I didn't like what fucking I saw. Had no rhythm. He's just fucking throwing punches. But I didn't like the reflexes. No, I I see what you're saying. That there's not a lot of snap to anything right now, right? There's not a lot yeah. of catch, 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 snap, moving your hands quickly. Uh, yeah, bro. I mean, as we get closer to this thing, we're gonna you're not gonna be able to hide it forever. Whatever it is, right? Whatever, like how Mike actually looks in an elongated setting. Right now, we've seen the the short clips, right? Where he's looking ferocious and day mm-hmm. three, you still want to fuck with me? You know, those kind of things. But in an elongated span, we're going to see it at some point, whether it's the open workout, whether it's when he steps on the scale, we're going to see it. Yeah. And yeah. that's when it's going to be like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like my dad, All of, by the way, this is something that you're going to love. <sighs> You've heard my dad talk. My dad says one of the, the craziest one of the greatest days of my life. He says some of the craziest shit you'll ever hear in your life. <laughs> and most people would GP this situation. Logan yeah. Paul and GP. As in keep him as far away from a camera as possible. Not me. When I go to do the next uh prospect series in Florida, taking a small detour in Tennessee because my dad will Yes. Not, he will not stop calling me. And telling me how bad Mike Tyson is about to whip Jake Paul. Oh my gosh. And I was like, Dad, Watch we party. should do a show around it. He goes, Bring her on Watch in. Par- yeah. Bring her down here then. We'll talk about it. I was talking to him last night. That's he exactly says, how he sounds, too. Bro, he's, oh, bro, it's he said the craziest shit to me the other night. He said, Oh, he. <laughs> I don't even want to spoil National it. Treasure. I don't even National want to spoil treasure. it. I won't tell you the story, but essentially, yeah, he no, got no. some new. He got. He, he took his. He, he's hunting right so he got some deer tenderloin he got some deer down ground deer right he's like i'm doing her different i'm making it different now put it in the cast iron i'll tell you what that son of a buck when i put some of this and that on it my god wait i'll tell you right now that dog will hunt i went i know what he means yep but what he's essentially saying is it was so good he couldn't describe it any other way yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you right now. When I put that salt on there and I threw it in the cast iron, and son of a gun, that dog will hunt. <laughs> no one would even know what the fuck he's talking about, but he just is so sure about it, dude. When I get him on this podcast and get him talking, it's over. National treasure. It is over with, dude. He, you know what he said? He was like, "I'm gonna run you out of business." I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> he said, "Put me on that microphone. I'm gonna run you out of business, brother." He's not lying. He's either. not though. I was like, dude, no. I, you don't realize it, but you will be the business, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. Uh, but no, that's going to be fun. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, bro, this is what I'm saying. Everybody is convinced. My mom's boyfriend, convinced. Yeah, dude. I know I'm hearing people too. People like, yeah, people talking to me about my friends. Yeah, Jake Paul. I'm like, guys. But this <sighs> is what you want, though. This is why this was this a genius move. Want. This is why it's working. This is why it's working. It was a genius move. This is why. Um, by the way, as we're yeah. recording, did you see this? Taiwan no. just got hit with a 7.5 magnitude earthquake. Bro, get out of the pool. Yeah, What's what, going what on? What are you doing, family? Look at this stuff. Freaking buildings coming down. Seven? 7.5. Mind you, the Richter scale goes to 10. Freaking buildings leaning. Tides coming in. So bro, earthquake is a weird Look at thing, this, dude. bro. The earth just starts the shaking. The earth is moving, son. Look at the cars. That's so scary. Bruh. So that's wild. I'm sure some of these buildings are going to actually come down at some point. How is that not falling over? You know what I'm saying? What is that? These are buildings. This is sideways like that? Yeah. Because the freaking foundation probably came off the ground from that swinging back and forth, back and forth. It's wild, huh? Odds even standing there. Anyway, Dang. that's gone on. Um, did you see yesterday? Dean the Great. This is a terrible transition. Dean the Great and Ryan Garcia had a little stream yesterday. They stream. I I heard that. I saw like a little clip. But I don't know what happened. Anything? Oh, anything also, interesting happened? Uh, before we get to that, did you see my big announcement yesterday on April first? I did. The return. The return is back. Uh, your boy is returning to psych. Just too busy having fun. People did not <laughs> like this. Uh, I may have, I may have stoked the flames, gotten some hopes up. Come on, April Fools, man! April Fools, you got to do it, one dude. I, I am always ready every year. 
Are you tired of get, April Fools though? To, no, cuz every year my students try to get me. There's nothing and I've been at this undefeated. Point they can get you with. And then a kid got me to yesterday. How? This little kid. You know what's funny? Remember the kid the jab cross hook backwards? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It wasn't him, but it was his cousin. Okay. Okay. Sneaky. He is it's the it's those kids cuz they're they know it's like when they're smart enough to be slick, but you don't think they can be slick because you don't think that they're old enough to, to like understand what it means to be slick. Right. Because everything's just like those are sneakers. Person, it's like, hey, how's it going? You know, hey, since yesterday, you know, yeah. uh, whatever. So end of, and he. What's crazy is he set me up earlier, and I, I, I avoided it. Yeah. And then he did the same thing and still got me. Dang. Because he did That's this commitment. Uh, so, He's like, Sensei, uh, he said it so good. He's like, Sensei, uh, um, what is that? Like, but he wasn't like, what's that? You know what I mean? Like, he did it like well. And I like went to like child. look and then I paused and I was like, mm, nice try. Yeah. You almost you got didn't me. get me. And then we, after we high five at the end, his class is over. Mm. The next class is starting, but it's like in the mix of like, people, hey, like, good people to see you later. Docs, whatever. Yeah, whatever. He comes back and like while I'm in conversation, <laughs> This does a whole uh, sensei. There's somebody at the front, so I look like this, and he's like April Fools. I go, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, it's been years since somebody has gotten me, and I was like, wow. And he did, he just got it smirked, and it was like, dang. And he's like seven. I was like, Freaking wow. Swag cold. walked cold. off on you too. But I get my students every year, except for my, like, even though some of them forget. But the dojo, uh, it's anniversary. Is actually April first. I How saw crazy. that on your Instagram story, and I was like, "Yeah," because it said thirty nine, like, and I thought you were like yeah. April Fools in your own age. I was like, "Oh, he's playing yeah. into the old man shit." <laughs> no, 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 exactly <laughs> right. So it's like thirty nine years. So in the you're, dojo, when the joke is, birthday, you're actually forty seven. But yes, go ahead. Okay, yeah, we do birthday burpees, and for when it's people's birthday, right? So we're like, guys, it's somebody's birthday today. I mean, did you guys know it's the dojo's birthday? Like, oh my gosh. I'm like, the dojo's 39. The kid's like, no. And they freak out. <laughs> it works every year for the new kids because they're like, no. And then I'm like, they're April Fool's. That's funny. But that, I get them every year. Classic dad joke. You have classic. To. Speaking of classic, joke. bro, did you see some Barstool put up the trailer for Two A Days? Do you remember the show? I do not. Two A Days? One state, four out of the last five years. And You've never seen this? Game winning streak. Touchdown. And now we have a chance. This is the greatest show in history. But it takes hard work and two a day practices. One before school and one after. You're telling me you've never seen two a days on MTV? No. Dude, you have to go watch it now. You will love this show. It's high school football in Hoover, Alabama. Mind you. Of course. Hoover, Alabama. Rival school to one of my best buddies who lives in Dallas now. Shout out my boy Neil. Played at Vestavia High, their big rival. I went to a Hoover Vestavia game when I was in college, and it is wild. Essentially, this show is watching these high school kids. Literally, they did two days during the season. They would wake up, wow. go to football practice before school, go to school, football practice after school. Wow. They That's played Tim now. Tebow in high school. This is the year, the, on, the first game wow. on the show is Hoover versus Nice and a body bag Tim Tebow. That's fire. And check this out. Legends. Check this out. This guy was the head coach at the University of Tennessee two years ago. That's Jeremy Pruitt. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. So he was a high school defensive coordinator at this time. Back Full in the circle. Uh, so that was one of the greatest shows ever. Full made. cyclical. Full also, cyclical. Also, we were talking about Ryan Garcia and Dean the Great. And yeah, we're gonna, I, we're, yeah, I, just, I saw that when I was looking for it. But shout out uh, to a days. You have to watch that show now. Um, so... Uh, first off, Ryan has been dropping some sparring partners in, in training. Woo! You know what I'm saying? That's a bad boy. It's a bad boy, but Devin Haney is badder, ladies and gents. No offense. Goes jab, then he feints jab. Ooh, hook around. Right hand, and he's down. So is Ryan done with all like the wild stuff? Or uh, I mean, we could go through it. Uh, he's still talking to some of it. Okay. Dean the Great wants to Ten run it down. with KSI for unfollowing him. Uh-oh. I actually didn't see this. Let's see what's said here. Do you like him? He unfollowed me, bro. So I feel oh, the same way. The same way you did Michael B. I also made that video too. You but yet it. again, I'm not signed with Michael B. You're not signed with Michael B. So you can say that. Yeah. Michael right B. Now, you know what I'm saying? So, you he did low key. Yeah, yeah. I would be too. Yeah, like, bro, you could have. Dean, what's up? But nigga just went unfollowed me. So I what? Know. So I never liked. We could, we, could, we could throw it. Down. Look at Ryan instigating. That's so funny. He's a what? Yeah, How could bro. he do that? <laughs> 
No way. Are you kidding me? Not the unfollow. This is what I said. The unfollows get people pissed, bro. That's what happened to you. That's, That's what I'm saying, you. bro. Uh, but obviously, Dean has got a little bit more. There's there's a lot of stuff there with misfits. But I didn't know right. these two were were. I didn't know they were friends. But I I don't know either. I guess I mean listen, they were talking about fighting for know. a long time. Maybe they still will. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Ryan. Let's see what's going on with Ryan. Let's just. I haven't checked. Because it's gone off the deep end uh, a couple of different times. But let's see what's new on the Twitter of Ryan Garcia. This should be a segment on every week's show. What's new? Content, so he's pretty level-headed. Yeah, for sure he's level-headed. Um, what's new? <laughs> Clearly, yeah. That's definitely Ryan. On the Twitter of Ryan Garcia. All right, April 1. I don't give a fudge about April Fool's. Tricks are for kids. Real shit happening and y'all decide to make jokes. In the end, the history of April Fools is exactly this fools. You need to know why today is the new year. Understand the truth, find out. Jesus, I love you. Oh, he's going with the new year thing. I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is risen. I think that's, that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be the beginning and then they added those two months or something. Yep, yep, yep. The right. Romans did or something, or Julius Caesar did or something. This day, April Fools, is a day to spread lies. Who is the father of lies? Just so we know, the devil. Don't let that go over your head. Wake up. This is a death day. This is a day to lie about f- without feeling guilty. Don't fall yeah, for the trap. Right. It's supposed to be about celebrating resurrection. They're like, nah, we're making a joke. Nah, we're flipping it on you, bro. Fools. You never know. That's what Jesus did, though. He he got resurrected. Yeah, he, he said, resurrected, so they're flipping it. That's what I'm saying. He said, psych, I wasn't good. <laughs> April Fools got gotcha. you. That's what Jesus did. Jesus <laughs> pulled the first April Fools ever. <laughs> he did. He did. That's why they did it. He said, "Every made everyone a fool." He said, "Got him." You thought you got me, psych, psych. I lied. Came out the freaking grave with it. Rolled the stone oh. back on him. So that was the first words. W W Jesus That's for wild. the first April Fools, bro. <laughs> uh, okay. It's like that. You ever seen that? Was the movie Dumb and Dumber, or which one was it? I don't know. It was a sequel. Whatever movie, whichever one I seen the clip, where at the end, it's like he was tw- like Jim Carrey was like twenty years in a like a mental hospital. Yeah. And then um, the other actor, I'm forgetting his name. Blonde dude. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, bro, he's like, I, I can't. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't come and visit you and take care of you here at this home anymore. And then Jim Carrey's like, <laughs> psych. <laughs> he's like, for 20 years, you've been playing like like paralyzed and a mute. Like, that's what happened to him. That's essentially what happened. <laughs> so funny. Got him. Okay. Got him. Uh, more, more, uh, Ryan Garcia, complete, uh, mastery of the English language here. Free my people. Land was stolen. We took it on the chin and now you grape our people. Wow. Did not expect that when I started reading and steal our children, underpay immigrants, deny access unless you need them, have them in the blistering sun, then get rid of them Where when there is no more use for them. It's time for a change. Obviously talking about Mexican people there. I am Mexican. You can deny know. that all you want. <laughs> I don't know who's denying that Ryan's not, that he's Mexican. Uh, oh, because you don't know Spanish. See what happens? You don't know oh, Spanish. Oh, yeah. Like they don't, is that, well, is that's why I'm not Mexican like, people? I, that's, that are disowning him? Or is he talking about like, oh, you I ain't... I think so. Because, because that yeah, usually because is the crowd, right? Like, I'm not going to look at Ryan and be like, you're not a real Mexican. Not, no, you know I saying? know, but exactly. Or like of Mexican descent, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm exactly. not going to look at you and be like, before. yeah, bro, no, nah, no, nah, you're not Puerto Rican, you don't speak Spanish. Like, no. But right? I don't be like... But Puerto right, Ricans might be like, yo. Exactly. Because I'm mean. not like, I'm not saying, um, because if not, I'd be looking like J-Lo. Who, she, she's like, I'm from the Bronx. Like, J- this whole J-Lo thing has been, she's Can been J-Lo saying... Can J-Lo speak Spanish? Yeah, she, okay. she's from the Bronx, but she just overdoes it, which is funny. People are are getting on her case because she's like, just she, so y'all know, I'm from the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx. Like, she's always been done that, right? And does a little but, bit with a New York accent, like I'm a yeah, yeah. She's doing. <laughs> like, I got a chopped cheese or whatever, and I got like I know a ham and cheese with an orange drink. Like if you know, you know. Oh, like, she did that. <laughs> like, on a no, video. you told us. That's why we know. Like it's not a secret. But here's the funny thing, though. <laughs> you know, here's the you thing. Know. You know, here's the funny thing. Yeah. If you actually know people from the Bronx oh, from that no. time, like oh, my no. mom is like, you know what's funny? My mom is from Harlem. Like, yep. And is, yep. by the way, is like the same age. So like they grew up like a town from each other. Right, right, okay. Both Puerto Rican girls from from, from New York. 
mm-hmm. from the boroughs. She's acting exactly like someone from the Bronx from that time. So the like it literally is like when people are like wow I'm like no I don't think you guys understand that is like yeah. this is proof that she's from the Bronx yeah because they not they are always any chance to rep it that's what they're gonna do yeah yeah any chance to talk about it it's a, it's it's a big pride do. thing to them. they're gonna overdo it yes I'm I like, mean that's this, like anybody like, though like I do the like same a thing. Puerto Rican girl from the Bronx yeah I mean I do the same thing if like I feel a need to like defend Tennessee for whatever reason right. I'll do it you know what I'm saying and the but country me, I'm not like, come out too. I'm not like I'm not like going crazy with it because I know like since I'm not like you fluent can't, in Spanish, you can't, right? You can't. Exactly. It's not. It's too much. It's too much. You know what I mean? So. So he goes. This I is am, why he gets that. This is why he gets that slack. Yeah, yeah. I am Mexican. You can deny that all you want. My Mexican people, I love you. Although you may not accept, there you go. Yep. I'll die for the cause. I'll die to defend you, great-hearted people. You don't complain. You work without stopping. You humble people. Reward is coming. Stay strong. So everybody's like, <laughs> Viva la guy, Mexico. no one cares. Okay. Okay, brother. Uh oh no. Here we go. He's good for one of these a day, bro. It's okay, time we realize so. racism is racism. Okay, bars. Bars. I love that. If you think you have some sort of past because you are a minority, it's time to realize there are no exceptions. Okay. 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 Base, right, Ryan? Ryan. Okay, Ryan, what are we saying? Woke. Oh no. I like that. I love black people, but some black people have been racist towards me. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I love it. Set up font. See, he's, he's, that's why he said that. Now you know why he you said. Gotta set it's it up. Time you got to give that. This is why he said racism is racism. That's now we you know give why the, he said You got to give the, the qualifiers, son. Yep. Yeah, then you get it with that one. And then you're like, oh, okay, bet. Oh, wait. No, wait a second. But he comes back with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's having a conversation, but just with himself. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah he is. That's what he's doing. Vice versa. Vice versa. <laughs> I've had to check my own family member for being racist towards black people, even though we're the same race and blood. I'm about justice, nothing else. He's Batman. This is great. Uh, what's right is right. What's wrong? Wait, what is right? What is wrong? Sorry, I was trying to speak real English for him. Yeah. Um, they want blacks and Mexicans to fight. When they, okay. I, I always wonder who they are, because it's always they. Uh, th- is he referring to white people? Probably, but it, you always. No, nah, he's, he's talking about the powers that be. That's what I'm saying. But, but it's what he's implying they. is that black people and Mexicans aren't in power, which. Which and politically, is, it's is probably right. probably true. It's a, there's some he's spitting a little bit, but then right, right, for like sure. The other side of the conversation, maybe he's like doing the dear Stan or dear M. I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. And he's also Eminem yeah. on the. You know what I'm saying? He, he's yep, he's yep. his own stand. While they laugh, making money, wake up brown and wake up black and brown. Wow, we the same people. <laughs> they wanna. They want to destroy us. It's sad. Blacks and Mexicans unite. It's time. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that last line is amazing. Blacks and Mexicans unite. It's time. He said it like he was a part of the freaking. Uh, this is uh, Avengers, dude. Captain Planet Squad or something. <laughs> Bro, this is like freaking. He's Captain America. Captain Mako. Is it, we're trying to fight Thanos. And blacks unite. <laughs> That's crazy. He's like, put your freaking power ring in. Uh, so people got upset at him. <laughs> Shut up. Look at this. It's hilarious. <laughs> Who says shut up? And he goes, wow, you hate truth. We know that now, pedo. What? I told you he That's does crazy. this, man. Anytime someone like, says something, all right, pedophile. It's like, what? Bro, what? <laughs> so then he turns up with this one. This is wild. I'm calling for black men and brown men to unite, and they still hate. Do you understand? Oh, what is Nico, what's Nico saying? No, I say Nico's is some random. He said, bro, really trying to gather all the fan base out <laughs> oh, of Mayo Nico, from conspiracy theorists, Gaza, Israel, sympathizer. It's, yeah. He, this oh, guy's man. right, though. He is, he just, he's yeah, jumping yeah. around day after day. Someone said, notice how he doesn't mention white people. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> laughable. Oh, laughable. What he, said, what he said he did, though. <laughs> 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 they. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, bro! <laughs> Besides, white people have already united with the Asians. <laughs> bro, the, the internet Asian. is undefeated, dude. The Asian and white unite. Bro, this is what this is what happens in Hollywood because like and like and the people looking at the internet are like, bro, we're not in there. We're not in Hollywood. No, we, bro, and we don't want to be. 
none of us want to to like Ryan is like trying to galvanize people to talk about stuff that none of us care about except Holly Weird. Right, because exactly this is not an issue. Right. Here was the, the blacks last and Mexicans one. aren't like you know what I mean? They're not like they're like, what are you talking about, bro? We just, it's like, okay. Like that's why everybody was underneath it being like, What are you saying, bro? Uh, you know why? Because all people like everyone doesn't like everyone in a sense. Like there's no like yes, yeah, some people are racist, but also sometimes people just don't like other people because of personality, culture, whatever. Like it could be any of the discussion. Any reason for people not to like somebody. So you can't just take that and just under a giant freaking brush of Ryan's just, like I said, ah. he's talking into the void. There's no there's there's right, no right. start to the subject he's speaking on. He yeah. just starts talking about it. I love black people. Y'all hate me. <laughs> oh, he confirms it, dude. I love white Look. people. They hate me. Oh, there, there it is. is. They it's showed confirmed. up again, bro. He confirmed. Dang. Confirmed. I love brown people. They hate me. Oh, I don't see okay. color. They hate me. It's agenda. It's control. Listen, I'm sorry. It's the truth. I'm sad, but all I can do is speak. Dude, it's like he's doing spoken word poetry in a room full of people that he expects after he's done to go, we're sorry. We love you. Like, I don't understand it. Anyway, this guy has a boxing like match coming up in less than three weeks. I love it, dude. I don't know what's about to happen. Uh, That's interesting. <laughs> here we go again. They are claiming I'm fat. No history of missing weight. Not planning to. Just be ready. Let's take a look at the pics. Is he fat? No. Nope. Shredded. He's shredded, dude. What are we talking about? Why is he posing like he's going to prom, though? What are we, what are we doing? That man's hitting an Arnold pose. What are we doing? Okay. Okay. All right. Mirror pose. Okay. Mirror pose with a freaking selfie out. What 2005. What's up? <laughs> Devin Haney had wow. a response. I don't know. I forgot what he said, but I did see him t see something. He said, stop using your hands to push the fat down. <laughs> it's a history of you changing the weights before. <laughs> These two are comedy, dog. Both of them had his hands right there, too. <laughs> That's a considered fat on the hippo. <laughs> okay, but did, did he do it to you? Okay, dude. Oh, they're on to him. See, it's over, bro. Freaking. Everyone. Everyone's going to take him out. All on it, dude. Including LeBron. Anyways, next subject. All right. So. You said including LeBron. That's crazy. We're not about to sit here and act like my goat is nope. implicated. We're not doing this. <laughs> you never, dude. Why? Why? Why are you saying this? No, no Diddy, no doubt. Why Nobody are you saying this? Because he because he said there ain't no party like a Diddy party. Is that why? And then he's like, yo, Bronny. Diddy's asking for the kids to come. In the no, he did not say that. Where? You didn't see the video? No. Diddy's like this. They're both dancing. And Diddy goes, get the kids. The kids are asking for the... For no, Bronny. No, 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 no. This one? Is this the video? They weren't, no, they weren't together. I didn't see them together partying. This is on camera. I mean, he, well, th this is not a big deal. He's just in the the same building. If you, okay. So now if you're in the same building as Diddy ever, you're, you're implicated? You heard what Denzel said. They said, you ever been to a, you ever been to a Diddy party? What did he say? He said, yep, but I leave 30 minutes before the devil gets there. That's what he said. Damn. Word for word. No <laughs> way. Hmm. <laughs> What does that mean, though? He leaves before exactly. Diddy even shows up? He did, yeah. No, he said, I leave 30 minutes before the devil arrives, which means he leaves before it gets crazy. I'm saying. what? Mm -hmm. That's wild. Who's still Pete? there? That's the question. Who's still there? But now, everyone, the Bron, you everyone's got to just say Bron Everyone's got to say. Everyone's got to say. say hey, I still believe there. it early. As long as you say now, I left earlier, good. That's you your way out. You can't just say Bron is, is still there just because he you didn't. You have to watch the video. You have to watch the video. No, no. He says, like, get Bronny. Oh, yeah. That's probably it right here. They're dancing. I don't, dude. Before I watch yeah, this right video, I don't know that I, I can watch. do this, dude. Hey, yo, they, they asking for Bronny. They asking for Bronny. Hey, where you at? They, 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 they say Bronny Rock. Hey, go get, go get your brother. Bronny, come here. Come here, dog. Come here, man. I want to, I want to, I don't want to watch this. Watch, 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 watch. No, you do. Come on. They're like, yo, Bronny knows. You want to know why? The kids are on, man. Come here. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie knew. Bro, real quick, bro. W. Bronny, bro. And they're like this. They're like this. Like that. No. This is this is not good. It's uncomfortable, man. It's super uncomfortable. Now, you can say hindsight is 20, 20 but no. Nah, we already knew. We people, knew the vibes. People already knew. 
I don't I don't want to think about what LeBron knows or doesn't know. So we're just yeah, not gonna we're just not gonna act like he knows anything. <laughs> That's why I said that. I was I just said it. I'm like, oh, we moving on. By the way, did you see that Bronny is uh, in the transfer portal? No. Yeah, he's announced today he's gonna be in the transfer portal. Okay. He's already putting pictures up too. Put pictures of him at Duke, O State. Oh wow, West Virginia. That was interesting. This man is cow. Doing the whole this was, he's I doing the this whole decision funny. again. <laughs> we are. We should have learned. Someone said from that. This. Someone said that. Someone was like, he "We should have learned from look, this." Someone was like, "He has the opportunity to do the funniest thing right now." I don't remember where the picture was, but it was like him he's sitting in the it. decision chair. S- I would do it honestly. I would do. He's the gonna decision do it chair. on Aiden's stream. I would do it. Do. Why not at this point? Because here's the thing with me. Do you think Bronny is in danger of not getting to the league? Mm, there's no way he'll get to the league. If Bron's in the league, if Bron's in the league or still involved in the league, he's he'll get to be in the league. league. So it's not going to hurt him getting to the league to do it. Thanasis is balling, dude. Bronny's getting in. Then, yeah, if Thanasis is getting minutes, Bronny's got to get in. Of course. So yeah, I think that uh, I don't think that's going to hurt him the same way. What, you want to talk about Sketch? What, what what happened with Sketch? Bro, so Sketch went down. He w- did a video with uh, Bradley Martin. That's right. I saw that. And he was streaming with Steve Will Do It. Killed They were getting crazy. Killed they were doing, Killing it. And this whole new thing about... They gave him like 50 has, racks. Like has, is Sketch playing a character? Is he faking? Oh, people are starting to say he's faking having... You know, what, what is it that he's... He has Tourette's? Dude, so, no. So, I, he... It okay. seems like he has Tourette's, but he has ticks. So, he comes out and talks about... He talks about it on the Bradley Martin show. Yeah. On, on the podcast, Raw Talk. And he says he has ticks and he gets nervous and the ticks get like worse. So it's it's very it it, it like emulates uh, Tourette's. Right? Ticks meaning he just has like his hands says like his hand will twitch. Oh, okay. Right and or he'll do something with his eyes. Oh, eyebrows. it's like a nervous this, twitch, like a nervous nervous habit. nervous twitch, nervous yeah. tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nervous tick. It's, it's like anxiety induced. Got you, got you, right? got you. But this has been like a a thing that's been talked about recently that oh he's faking it and there was a video of Bradley. Mm-hmm. Talking about Sketch before they were going to go record with them. And he was talking to Sarah because Sarah was like, So far, I was like, Oh, I, I love Sketch, whatever. And then Bradley's like, do you do, Oh, did you know that he's just a character? Like he's faking it. Oh, so Bradley like, bought what? into it. And I'm like, In this heat, I got me heated. You were upset about it. That's your boy. Oh, I'm, I've been upset. Sketch is your boy. Okay, and you see, Wade knows because I've been talking about Sketch before. Since before. Before. Like before. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's try to he figure had, out like, when you one, were talking about him. This well, was, he had like he he. I'm talking like he had like 1k viewers, or like 800 viewers. I was in Massachusetts viewers. and you pulled up a stream, watching him. I'm like I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, was, I love I, this I, kid. I was like kind of sh- I was like whatever. Yeah, he's he's funny. He wasn't playing with Zach. This is before he started no. playing with uh, Zach. He was doing um, his own the deal. Stick Reaper. Yeah, his own deal. He was playing like he was had like a roommate or somebody that would come yeah. over and he would play and he was just doing his own thing playing the game. And I'm like I'm telling you, this kid is gonna be it. Like I'm yeah. telling you, I'm like I love this kid. He has a great personality. He's gonna hit. And then literally. It was a couple months. I'm like, oh, look, he's playing with Zach, the Sick Reaper, I'm mad the, And then the jinxy stuff. And like. then and then I'm like, I'm telling you, bro. And then now, if you, when I told you how popular he is, like everybody, everybody's like, doing all it. All the college, everyone's doing it. I told you, I'm like, it's like, and I was there. I, I noticed it from the beginning. You're day one, and son. Day one, dude. Day one. I'm like, it's your guy, I told bro. you, dude. <laughs> I, when I was telling you about it, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, I'm telling you, this bro, kid, bro. We were in Massachusetts, whatever. and you pulled it up on your phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't having none of but it. I was like, whatever, bro. <laughs> it makes I sense, know. though, now. now. He's killing it. Yeah. But the thing that, oh, man, like, oh, he's faking it. Like, it's just a character. Yeah. And then they would post clips of his interview with he did um on Barstool. Okay. When he's, like, in a more relaxed setting, and they're just asking him regular questions. It still sounds he's like, like him. Exactly. And they're like, yeah. oh, see, he's faking it. It's just a character. I'm like, what do you, first of all, what do you think is a character? Now, what, what bothered me the most is that, they're saying something. People are saying something without saying it. And when this is one thing that I don't like what people do mm. is they go, oh, it's just a character. He's faking it. No, what what you're saying, which really bothers me because oh, yeah. he actually talked about it on Raw Talk because Bradley asked the question like, so like, and he's trying to ask this question that people are like trying Everybody's to ask. Everybody's like trying to ask and say. And he just saying. comes out and says like, one thing that bothers me the most is actually when like people think I'm trying to impersonate or like fake. And I'm like, see, this is what you, everyone does because they're trying to be around the bush and you put somebody in an uncomfortable position and you make it impossible for him. 
and you suck. I'm like, people, this is like where I'm like, where I get upset. Like, people suck, dude. Yeah. I'm like, okay. If you say that he's faking it, so you're saying that what he's, you think that he has he's like autism faking or he's a disability, the, yeah. Right, or disability, whatever. So then you come out and say, I'm like, no, no. He has ticks. And he's, and if you watch him, you would know that he has ticks. Right. Right. And he's quirky. On top he's of that. He's quirky, yeah. nerdy personality. And obviously, when he's on stream, he's playing, he's, not, like, not playing it up, but he's hyped. Up. He's playing Madden with the boys. Yeah. He's hyped. And this is what he's up. doing. Right. Like like we all do. Like we talk about sports. Like I'm not like this 24 like, 7. You know, I'm, I'm no. animated. I'm yeah. more animated. Yeah, of course. But it's, an, it's a version of my personality, though. Exactly. But now they're like, oh, no, he's fake. He's, he's faking it because now we see him and look, he's normal. It's crazy. Oh, bro. It's crazy. I was like, I was like, what is going on? And then I got upset because Bradley had said like, oh no, he's faking it. He's actually normal behind the cameras, whatever. I was like, oh no. And like when they go to interview him, I hope it kind of blows up in a way so that it can get attention. Right. And it was good. Bradley did a great job of like, he's really good the in that setting. Yeah. Cause he says, do you have, he's like, do you have a disability? Do you have a condition? Right. And he's like, no, I have ticks in it. And like he, and he answered it. And I like how he was straightforward and saying, it bothers me that people think that I'm impersonating. I'm the type of person that would fake. Right. Or whatever. And then that's like, then you don't want to ask or you're assuming this thing. And I'm like, bro, people can't just have good things, dude. In today's day. Sketch no, is an amazing, dude. amazing no. personality. Amazing, amazing person. He's quirky. He has, right. He has ticks. And even like Jinxie is a big streamer and he has Tourette's. Yeah, I was gonna say that's why it's him like and people Jinxie people don't say that, got went uh, like hand in hand a little bit. They kind of relate, right? Because the of their way. outward personality, very outspoken, outlandish, whatever. But very like they're themselves. That's why people love them, you know. And someone like Sketch, it's all a part of me thought too that people were when they when they thought that maybe he was playing a character, they were like onto it more. They wanted to go, oh look, 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 look. That's what he's, I'm saying. He's He's he can't be like this good. Like he's just playing a character, like it, almost it like is, he shouldn't win in a way. It's like well, he here's can't the thing. just be that funny. Exactly, you can't have these one-liners. You can't be as funny as you are. You can't always continue to say things that are just hilarious and be a good, entertaining streamer. It just can't be true. People have this yeah. idea, and and dude, I see it all the time on the internet. You are just as good as the people think that they're a part of it. And right. once you've gotten too big, once you've escaped that little pocket that everybody held you in and, you know, you were that first little thing and they discovered it and, you know, it's us. Now yeah. you're with Jinxie. Now you're doing big things that they maybe didn't even ever think you could do or now you're introduced to a new audience that are, let's be honest, on the internet, miserable people from time to time. Yeah. And just want to see people fail. Genuinely, you know, you know, you know what's crazy though the the consensus that I was getting from that the people were actually more, uh, it was the that viewpoint was coming more from streamers and content creators. Oh, that's that's like other people worse. talking about it. that's hilarious. Because when you go right, yep. Because when you go right to the comments, bro, they defend like it's like sketch army. Bro. Yeah, defending good. That's what I want to see. And I, I I I love to see that. And I'm like, we have to protect sketch. At all cost, hundred <laughs> percent, dude. This like that's like that's my vibe because I'm like no, I'm like you know when you like teach martial arts and, and you've like obviously been around in like physical fitness and working with people, like it's so frustrating when like you just read the room, man. Yeah, bro. Read the room, people. That that's the funnier part though is that people that are very successful already see this dude creeping up. Honestly, right over their head. It's either over their head or it's right in front of their face, and they need to find a way, like you said, to justify how good he is at what he's doing and how fast he's growing and yeah. why it is that he's becoming who he is and they're not. And the reason the reason someone like Sketch, and this is what I said before when I first like saw it, ran into one of his videos, is like doing so well is because, and the reason TikTok does so well is because it gets rid of all of the the crap in between. This is why people like streaming now. Streaming is taking streaming. off for that reason, for sure. It's it's less commercial. It's less sponsor-induced. It's real, less cookie-cutter. No it's edits, real. Authentic. No edits. Authentic in a way that is it's just happening. You can't fake it. And if you do, right. people are going to see it. You know what I'm saying? Correct. 
and the personality is there and we're getting we're, we're making the right and like, this is something that in the comments you see we made the right guy famous when they show like sketch you know what i'm saying like we this like we did we chose the right guy that's another part of this too it may not be like, this is who we sketch. want to win i hope it doesn't ever affect sketch but i've also seen this where people get an idea of we made you we will destroy you yeah. I hope that doesn't happen to him. I, I, I think it's. I don't think it can impossible. happen. Impossible. I don't think it yeah, can happen. Because the way he because is. Because he's. The way he is, he's so genuine. Right. And he's so down to earth. And like seeing like these interviews that he's been in, it's only making people love him more. I was going to say, and, it doesn't any, feel like he has. And the people. Any and it's of... flipping people that were like, oh, who is this kid, whatever. Like they, they weren't sure about him. It's, it's flipping him because yeah. he's just himself. There's yeah. no agenda. No agenda with this kid. It's the Twin Peaks stuff. He's just here to vibe killer. out, and I love it. Twin Peaks. Twin yeah, Peaks. I be, dude, and I had to say, and I, I had to talk to you about it because I'm like, I, I can't be That's been your guy for so forever, dude, yeah. My guy, bro. That's been your guy. Did he follow me like recently? I was like, bro, dude, these people. That's, dude, you got to get a game. At some point, y'all have know, to get a game. I know. I gotta, I'm like, now if it's like, the, the, to reach him is like going to be harder. You still got to do What happened there? You guys got to get that I know, game dude. I just gotta, I just gotta hit him up. He'll play. He plays yeah. every day, all day. I'm saying you gotta get but that I'm going. I'm like, I gotta play later because he gets crazy. I'm like, I, this is, this is not family friendly, brother. Oh so, yeah, uh, Fontes, yeah. It's yeah. Cursing you. So up. I'm like, uh, um, but yeah. Let's talk about what you wanted to, to talk about on yeah, that Caitlin camera Clark, there. Um, Caitlin Clark Caitlin killing Clark the game, and Angel Reese back and forth, the two dynamic yep. duos. But obviously, Caitlin, Caitlin went crazy. Did you see the rating? For people that don't know, Caitlin Clark. Yes. Uh, Iowa point guard, shooting guard. Um, Angel Reese. What she is. LSU center, something forward, whatever. Uh, two of the biggest stars in college basketball. Yes, in the U.S., we watch college basketball. And Paige. And Paige. Can't forget about Paige. And Paige. Shout out UConn. Um, UConn. Ballin. We're not going to talk about Tennessee losing to Purdue. It's over. It's mm. done with. Football season's around yep. the corner. We're winning the natty. Yep. Okay. Uh. But this is a big deal. Women's basketball really in total doesn't get a lot of airplay ever. Yeah, I know. And right now it's and right now right it now, is white hot. The final buddy. four in women's NCAA basketball. Could be more important than the men's. It is. It got, a, it got a higher viewing number this game did. <clears throat> oh well, hundred percent is. Uh because it's Caitlin Clark. Because of Caitlin Clark, man. So you saw the game. Caitlin Clark uh went bananas. But that's the what that's why though she's doing stuff in a way that we don't see at this level with the type of pressure in basketball in general. And also there was the rivalry, right? Like people forget last year in the oh, national the story title line, game. Amazing. Angel Reese is like, give me that ring, giving her the freaking John Cena. Bro. You can't see me. Yep. And then, you know, your boy MJ. Caitlin came back. It was dominant this year. Cash Ice money cold. Bro, when you have like clips of Haley who's guarding her, and she's just Haley's guarding her, like, I, what am I supposed to nothing, do? Nothing. What can I do? Like when you have stuff like that, different level. That's what like what is this? Building a sport. Caitlin Clark on beating LSU. What is this? For a couple of weeks. Nah, nigga, I own the league. Shit was like, <laughs> 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 you can't guard me. <laughs> you got clips. Nah, nigga, I own the league. <laughs> Why do people do this shit on Twitter, dude? I love it. Oh man, that's crazy, bro. It's because she, she did not say she that. Has, first no, off. but she's but but Caitlin Clark has had the Steph Curry effect. When Steph Curry, for, <laughs> sir, he wasn't just making threes. It was the shots that he was taking. It was the shot selection. Yep. And it was approach to the game. We were going, what? No way. When you look like no way, and then cash there, buddy. And we're looking. But not even the not even the range, the way she's getting into it. Like it's not like catch and shoot, like end of the shot clock. Nope. But like hold up, just hezy pull, okay. Dang. But then she'll. It's like okay, you can do a couple of those. Yeah, bro. There's a couple like it's so un, when you, when you, like the word that I think of is unnecessary. Like look at that, yeah, like, whatever. unnecessary. She goes behind the back like double sidestep from like logo. She don't need to do that. Like first of all, what are we doing? Watch this. That's what are we doing? <laughs> What are we doing? That is Steph Curry esque, dog. That's craziness. We get a pick. Then I'm just gonna right here. Sidestep. They don't teach that on the on the and lean to, use the, to pick, the left. Bro. They don't teach that. 
That is bro, it is a it is a tight game. This is unnecessary behavior. They don't teach this on the on the pick. The circle back. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> oh, and just bro, cash money records taking over for the nine nine in the two thousand. That's what it is. It's not just she's doing really well. It's her game is unique because it's outrageous. Her game is outrageous. Yep. She's That's crazy. outrageous. Angel did it too. She's like, well. And this, like I said, Steph Curry effect. When you go, no way. And then they make it. And you right, go, what? what? She's like, all right. Uh, well, what can I do? Yeah. I mean, listen. No one knows at this point what you can do. But what someone does know, this is probably the wrong article to pick up on it, but uh, Ice Cube runs the big three league. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that he, like, Still ran it. I didn't know the league was still going. Yeah, yeah. Still running it's, it. It's not, it's not super crazy, but it's, it's still good. doing it's, it. It's kind of it's fun when you watch well, it. It's like fun. there's no other. Do they they don't have a women's league? No, no. So there's no other instance where you'd see something like this. But he's essentially verbally offered for Caitlin Clark after she's done playing in in the NCAA to come and play in the Big Three league for five million dollars. Ooh, right, bro, you're like. For people that don't know, the WNBA is not paying that. The highest a salary, I believe, was like 273K. The highest. Is that like a rookie contract or in general? No, in general. Yeah. So what are we talking about? But she's making, but here's the thing. She's making like three mil right now, though, with NIL. You think? They said she's making a couple mil right now. It's already confirmed. How, though? With what? Endorsements and stuff. Who? What endorsements? I don't know. NIL, where, people are paying her. What kind of money has Iowa got? Jesus. It's Caitlin Clark, dude. She's not. I know. I get it's Caitlin Clark, but like, I don't see her at a Nike commercial. Who's got that kind of money? They were getting that money before, anyways. Now they're getting it illegal. No shot. You know there was no one was getting that kind of money in Iowa on a women's basketball team. She's no, 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 no. I'm not saying women's. I'm saying this athletes, whatever. I don't even think but anybody saying, in but Iowa was getting. I'm that saying. Kind of I'm money. saying her magnitude, though. No, of course not Iowa, but her magnitude. Her her magnitude of athlete. That's why I think. This is why I think that the the money she will get, but I didn't know she was already getting that. That's crazy. Um. Yeah. Five mil. You see, Dave Portnoy said he would give her ten mil. It was kind of a joke, but I think he also might be serious. <laughs> might be serious. <laughs> to, to like first play question. First question. League. <laughs> do you think you should? She should do it. Why not? You think it's gonna hurt her image? Yeah, don't don't do it. This is what, hold bait. on. Here's the thing. Oh, do not take the bait. What is the bait? The bait is to say men are better than women at basketball because this she struggles with victory. No, every everybody. Every troll, every person. They're already doing use, that, though. I know, but now you can – now we because they would talk about, oh, but if the the college basketball – like a high school – I'm sorry, right, like the, the Brittany team play the high school the, yeah, like yeah, basketball yeah. team, but, the market cause, but now they can actually do it. And those clips will live forever. Okay, number one. But, but we know that. Here's the thing. It's not going to go well, dude. It's I'm not, not saying it will. Well. But it doesn't have to go great. This what is the wrong that, league if, to do that. If she was Euro League, you know, you know what the big three is made up of the players? Oh. I don't know. I didn't know it was still around. I thought it was all These are all old guys. school players. Yeah. It's bully ball in there. It's three on three bully ball, bro. Do you think they, also, do you think they bully ball Caitlin and, and like they they hand check now. They allow hand checking okay, in, in the right. big three. I, I just don't they, like I, let me tell you something. They've already talked about it. Some people who play there. She ain't scoring on me. That's hilarious. And also, they said, oh, you think people are going to be upset because they're going to give her the bag? Because you're talking former NBA players are there, not playing for the big three, money, right? yeah. not getting the bag. You're not getting scored on. And we're talking about, oh, okay, she's going to play. Here's the question they were asking. Do you, they were like, do you, they got they went this egregious yeah, yeah. In, in basketball talk in some podcasts and some circles. This is the problem with NBA players. This is they said, do you think she scores a point? Like we and there was people like she. It was like, who is she gonna score on? Yeah, I don't know. Who's and then a they were the they were arguing like, oh, she could run off screens. Like she could run off a couple of screens. I don't know who's a part of the league. Uh, Gilbert Arenas was playing. He's like still Rashad McCants, those guys, the other people were playing. So there's it's tough. like, it's tough. You're talking. You're, so it's like the only way that she could, like in my opinion, the only way she it, because it's a three man league. But you're then you're you're in the half court the whole time, so it's kind of the floor's cut. But right, right. So she's gonna be running on screens, you know bro. What I'm but 
it's I, I, what I don't want to do is what I'm saying is what I don't want to do is put the these former players hmm. in that position to in be a like, position yeah. to feel like they need to defend their manhood and they're already egotistical basketball players and they're older. Mm-hmm. Don't do this. Oh, because yeah, that could be. Don't put this on you TV. Talk about the other side too. Gilbert Reese is on his podcast bad. trying to talk ball, but every time there's a clip posted, underneath it is a clip of him getting three balled by Caitlin Clark. Yeah, that wouldn't be the worst of it. The worst of it is she's going around a screen and somebody throws a shoulder out like you ain't scoring on no, me. No, for sure. I'm saying if it was the other way, you're never right. even that down either. You know what I'm saying? No, never. But I'd rather. I would I'd rather, rather have that though. Yeah, for sure. That would be that better than. Like you hand check her, like body her into the. So into what are you bleachers. saying? You, she goes to WNBA and and gets a. I'm I'm assuming a massive deal with Nike or something like that, and can make up the difference type. Yes, of Yes, because this is the this is what the WNBA needs, needs and I, I, this is the most confident I've been because because the NBA also needed it too, right? To compare the WNBA and the NBA is ridiculous because they haven't been around for the same long time. And even WNBA players have said this. You've got to stop trying to compare them to a league that's been around and established and has had world-level athletes for decades and have built products and, and built a product. Like, the NBA wasn't always popular. Had to be saved remember in the, the 80s. These, remember these guys had in the 50s, they had to work a, a job in the summer. And in the 90s, these guys the, need the them. guys that Michael played against. Exactly. So Mike came, Mike came in the, in the eighties. Obviously, Magic and Bird, yeah, right? Yeah. Took the game to new heights, and Kareem is a part of that. But like Magic and Bird, big time. The name that of was. The 80s. But again, there was Magic and Bird in college. The rivalry they took that. It to the translated league. to the league. It was a and they dominated and won. Built. And those rivalries took to the Magic, Lakers and Bird Celtics. Yep. And those are the only two teams that mattered in the league, and that's what they needed. They stacked those teams and they won for a whole decade. And then Michael Jordan came in and it was like, great, we got somebody else going to help carry and the, the torch off. Yep. Right. So he came in, so Air Jordan, a, the whole deal. A Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese rivalry in the league. Right. That could be and the Paige, 80s. They could be in their Paige 80s buckets. right now. They could be in the, in the birth of the 80s. Now, again, they weren't making that kind of money. Right. Back then. So they, they need to start somewhere. Right. So if Caitlin Clark can go there and get a big, a new deal. So, and this is what's going to give opportunities for other athletes to make that kind of money. True. It's true. Right? And she already – she's established this kind of hype like Magic did in the 80s, what you're talking about, and Bird did. Yep. You take this and you take it into the league. You build your own rivalries, your stories. Get out of the whole men versus women thing. You don't take the the, the number one – and then throw her into the big league, which is like not even B league for NBA. What you need to have her do is she's in the three point contest or the All Star game weekend, yeah, for next year, like they did list like with, with, with Steph and Sabrina. Yep. That's what you do. Yep, that's what you do. You don't yep. don't do this. I, I don't care how much. Mo- Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how much money it is. Don't do it for the cause of the WNBA. Don't. And I don't think she will. She needs to go dominate in her league, and, and that's and people will people. It's proven people, people will go will watch. Tune in. We saw it. They did. I can't. I was looking for the number earlier. They did twelve million. Twelve yeah. million. You know what? That's better than. Now, granted, it's an average number, but the average number yep. of watchers from the finals last year. Yep. That's massive, dude. Story sell, dude. We know this. Yes. It's what makes pro wrestling great. And Caitlin Clark has people like now going what? Which is again. That's what Magic was doing. That's what Bird was doing. Yep. Right? This is what MJ did. They went, what's this? Yep. And that's what you need people to do. If they go, wow, what's this? Not because it's good basketball and it's quality. It doesn't, that doesn't matter. The Spurs played fantastic basketball, one of the most witnessing dynasties in NBA history. No one watched them. No one. Yeah. Okay? So it, it, other teams carry the league. So <clears throat> Kellen Clark can do that. Along with some others, but she needs. They to desperately just, need it, man. The WNBA desperately. She needs to win badly, man. She needs to win this thing and win out. Yeah, she has and to then go them. to the WNBA and be like, "This is my house," and just start cooking. Cook, Caitlin Cook. All right. I hope they rig it. Let's okay. uh, let's get to our final segment. We've done this for the last couple of weeks. We always tend to record the day before this podcast comes out so we don't get all the good stuff but lebron james podcast with oh, jj reddick yes. has run another one what is it three for the win what's it called mind of the game mind the game that's what it is mind the game mind the game instead of what did i say was the better the better one 
The mind game no, would have been way better. Right. The mind game would have right, been way better. James but. Winston is the one who came up with this name title. Did you know that? No, I'm sure. Uh, let's see <sighs> what Spolstra, Spolstra. All right. Well, this is three minutes. We're gonna talk uh, three minutes of LeBron talking about Eric Spolstra, innovative strategy, and Chris Bosh's spacing unlock the potential of the Heat. Oh wait, it's actually. Oh no, it's not out. It's out tomorrow. So let's see. You've always had a very uh, pointed reason for why the 2011 Lakers, or 2011, 2011 Heat did not win the NBA Finals. Let's see if LeBron agrees with you. Okay. I'm going to tell you when it all changed. Obviously, my first year there, you know, played great basketball, got all the way to the Finals, losing the Finals. Spo. Is the reason I gotta work on their mics. why we were a better team and our team was more assembled properly. That summer, he went to Oregon and hung out with Chip Kelly. Oh, interesting. He he. When we <laughs> lost to Dallas, this is, that's he such went a Jameis to Oregon to, and hung out with Chip Kelly Chip, Chip. and learned to spread offense and tried to figure out if he could translate that to basketball. This I heard this this morning and I went, oh no, he's right. <laughs> I was like, he's right. Because this, this is the best part. Go ahead. Watch. watch, watch, watch. And don't know the super conversations that him and Chip had. But I know when he came back to us, he knew in order for us to reach our potential, one, I had to be fucking 10 times better than I was in that previous June finals. Yep. This but Chris Bosh had to right. go to okay. the five. He didn't need to go to go see Chip Kelly. To figure out that's what I'm saying. To be he said, I don't know if they talked about this or not. I, it's a, but he like that's the whole the thing reason. of like the Chip Kelly was just like. Mm. But they talk about here. spacing Chris Bosh to the five. <clears throat> yeah. And? I mean, I think they're going to talk about it. That's the demise of LeBron James. The, the reason they lost <clears throat> was because LeBron James didn't play as well. The reason they win later is because he plays better. I this agree is with not, this. this. I agree with this. It's but not because Chris Bosh is at the five. It's because Chris Bosh, well, part of it in their mind is because they need to pull a big man away from the paint. No, yeah, because the other big man they had was Joel Anthony. That's why. They and the big a, man like, on the other side is Tyson Chandler. Right. That was the mismatch. And, and obviously, and when you want, when you went back and you look at, oh, they talk, when you actually watch back highlights, they talk about, well, Tyson Chandler is rebounding. Right, you can you dominate will, the paint, plus, dominate the ball, possessions. I think they're going to talk about this. The The Miami Heat game, we've talked about it. They were never the greatest cohesive unit for what LeBron does well, what D-Wade does right. well, and what right. Bosh did well. So they kind of had to work around it, which was... Correct. Try to put, Bosch, like, space Bosh. Uh, D-Wade and LeBron, in the half court at least, are going to have to make a ton of cuts. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a cut and right. move offense kind of. It's not really the strength of either of their game. It's not because you want to surround LeBron with shooters. Right. So with that to be the case, and again, they're going to describe this, I think, the natural thing is you need more space in the paint. You can't cut into a big. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. you're, you're cutting to nothing. So And it worked against OKC, the baby thunder, <laughs> because they had a Serge Ibaka, Ibaka baby. at center, mean? which he's not a five either. He's enough for a blocker, bro. And they thought, oh, let's try to match what Miami's doing. Stupid. He had to start working on his corner three faithfully every day after practice. Corner three every day after practice. We're going to yeah, post you up. Get you your yeah, I was going to say, let's look at this clip that he's talking about. LeBron in the drive and kick. I mean, honestly, he still can, like, I, I get why they're spacing. Because okay, you have a Ibaka down there. But if Ibaka is Ibaka or Tyson Chandler, anybody, and he doesn't need that spacing, then that's still going to be a tough shot for LeBron, right? But he's still, he's not seven feet, is what you're saying. He's not a true Right, player. and by the way, the basketball is played on both sides of the floor. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you're going to live with Bosh. You can't play that the whole game. So you're going to live with Bosh doing that, but then he has to go down and defend a five. But you can't do that when you verse people who have base, like the, like the, uh, the Spurs. Mm-hmm. Because now Bosch can't he can't play the five against Tim Duncan because he can't guard him head up right, right? so th this is where you run into issues now oh but now we need oh because defense matters <laughs> it's corner three every day at the practice we're gonna post you up we're gonna get you your elbow catches offense gonna run yep. through you at times but in order to bring you know 
the Tyson Chandlers out of the paint. This huh. is this is not Tyson Chandler, but it's your boy Kendrick Perkins, Big Perk. Okay, Bagman Perk, Bagman Perk, Bagman, Bagman. Bag 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 In order but to bring the, the Roy Hibberts out of the paint. But I mean, the point is obviously, you know, LeBron is going to have to have a driving lane. See, what he's saying though is, I don't have a Tyson Chandler, I don't have a Roy Hibbert. You want to know why? Because you want to surround me with shooters. Well, tough luck. This is your offense, buddy. But now it doesn't work when it's on. It doesn't work all the time, does it? Out of Didn't the paint. So. In order to bring the Roy Hibberts out of the paint. Roy, I forgot. In yeah. order to bring Kevin Garnett out of the paint, you got to at least be a threat. The Bosch spacing, what did that sort of unlock? I'm, I'm curious. Like, what were the actions? The cutting. Slot cut? The slot cut. <laughs> the slot cuts. The slot cuts. It unlocked the slot cuts. It unlocked exactly what myself and D-Wade thrive on. Dribble penetration, slot cutting. Pick and roll happens, you tag, slot cutting. Yeah. It, it unlocked all that. And, and we all know how great D-Wade is on the baseline. It's hard to cut behind the defense when X5 is standing there the whole time because, you know, the offensive five is there. You know, so, you know, you hit me on the pocket pass now, you know, I get the pocket pass from, from Chalmers or, or from Norris Cole, you know, and now Bosch is in a strong corner. Are you going to leave him or not? If you do, he's going to tag you. And if not, when I roll, now you got X3 or X2 tagging on me on the roll. And nine times out of ten, that 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 guy that's playing the elbow that's supposed to X to the corner, he's Xing out to the three-point line, and D-Wade's slashing right behind him. It just it unlocked a, so much for our offense. And it gave myself and D-Wade in transition. We had this thing called the Mack truck lane. So from... Based I love that. The Mack truck that's lane, dope. son. That's anything LeBron's that's involved in on the break should be called that. From the Facts. block to the block. So San Francisco, we sitting on the free throw line. Yeah. You got one block on one side, one block on this I side. I can picture a basketball court, yeah. We do it for the viewers. <laughs> Not questioning JJ's expertise. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. First day of training camp, we had that I whole... I like how he just gets right back. That's Jameis. He gets James. locked right back in. I He's love that JJ is perfect for this though. Like he doesn't. Yep. He just like kind of just talks shit to LeBron. He's like, yeah, I know what a basketball court is, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> kind of let, let's get to it. A basketball court, yeah. We do it for the viewers. <laughs> I'm not questioning JJ's expertise. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. First day of training camp, <laughs> we had that whole thing taped off. The bigs were not allowed to run in between the Mack truck lane. From the first day of training camp all the way to game one, prohibited. You're not allowed to, you got to, and if, the, and if I'm bringing the ball up and the big is behind me, he can't cross the court. He has to run wide behind. This is all, this is all, Spo is like, yeah, he's, he's that damn good. I'm so essentially it's like we accentuate okay, yeah, so Bron's they, strengths by they, giving him space. And they also, they started small ball. As a regular thing, yeah. But the yeah, league they was already going that way. It was, but when, but when Bosch I know went to the LeBron five, is like... But Bron could do it because he can play... He's six eight, Right, because he's a monster. 250, can play four positions. But here's the thing. what, what This is reliant of, of your teammates hitting shots. I was going to say, it, it's so an outside So we know game. When, when people start missing shots... Goes bad quick. The game becomes an inside game real quick. Yeah. Or you want to get in a shooting contest. Yep. Well, guess what, LeBron James? Uh, for your whole career, you haven't been one of the best shooters of all time. And then you get, like, whether you're the Cavaliers and you have Kevin Love and Kyrie, you're surrounded with, with shooters. But guess what? Now you're going to go shot for shot with who? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Psych? Steph so Kerr. the problem is when, when people start missing, the game gets underneath the basket. Rebounds, possession. Easy buckets. That's why in deep playoff runs, when teams start slacking, it's the people who can get the easy can get the easiest buckets. They get to the free throw line. They can also defend. They can protect the rim. It, it comes down to that. And when you see like, oh, him trying to guard the Warriors, I'm like the the team that the the Cavaliers had, like with Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, that was LeBron's. He chose that team. That's He's an in ideal the team tournament. for the way LeBron wants to play. Right. An offensive oriented team. You surround LeBron James with offensive. Perimeter style players, right? But then someone's who's gonna do the dirty work, yeah. right? Who's gonna be able to get to you the easy bucket? But if LeBron wants to go off the screen, or let's say 
drive and kick. Where's the intermediate game, right? Because he's at three feet or 30 feet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And this is where, when I t- when we talk basketball, where I say, okay, but once you take away the three feet, mm-hmm. yes, he's going to make the right play. But are those guys going to come through? Right. Is the right play necessarily the right, like how much percentage chance does the right play actually work out? For right. You? And you're relying on your guys to do it. Right, but if, the, if their guys theory, are better than your guys, but yeah, on the other side, their guys they rely on are some of the greatest three point shooters ever. You know, and I mean? that's why I was like, man, if LeBron just played, when I, when I said it, be a post up player, which means bully from inside out, because mm-hmm. th- that's reliant and no one can stop you, and you're gonna you're gonna garner a double team every time. Because there's no one that, unless they were like a a bigger player. But now again, this is if you heard what he said, we're trying to get the big guy out of the paint, the rim yep. protectors. Yep. That's why I was like, uh, right. But it worked because everyone everyone follows suit. Everybody you got like, like Serge oh, Ibaka the next two, year. They want two chips. Okay, this is what this is what works. Now let's do it. Right, but it, but it, but it, again, when he ran into issues was besides that, and then when you had a team that could shoot better than you, and it was offensively could match you. Yep. Right, KD, a perimeter player, Steph, Clay, or even those right. Spurs teams. Right, they can match, but also they, they, they got him. They had up. Thiago Splitter at center. Yeah. Who? Like the lucky they had Tiago Splitter at center, but LeBron was able to meet him when he had that crazy block. Yeah, meet him at the rim. Right. So again, when he see when he said, tight, "Man, they had tight. We got to get Tyson Chandler out of there." So it was like it wasn't just Dirk and all that stuff. They said, "Man, if they didn't have Tyson, it would have been a lot different." One hundred percent. Of course, you need a leapers in the middle. Right. Here's so the to last... me, this is why like someone like MJ. Yeah. Okay. Without getting into it, like with Jordan, where okay, so when you design a team around him, you don't surround him with offense. Mm-hmm. Toughness. You surround them with people who can protect the paint, who can make it hard for people as a perimeter offense. Yep. Right? Shooters would take away their offense. And then he's the freaking offense. Yeah. Man was like shoot, man was making like 45% of their, uh, like scoring 45% to 50% of the team's points. Of the points, right. Yeah, he'd pull up, drop 40 on you, they'd score 86 and win. So it's like the team was designed in a way – because he was the offense. To he make didn't your need most offensive player, all-stars. He didn't have offensive player. all-stars. Right. He had defensive people around. He didn't have shooters around. So you can't complain. You can't also can't then turn around and play, well, LeBron didn't have that. He didn't have a rebounders and these greatest defender. Right. Well, that's not what he wanted. It's not how he plays. He didn't want to go pick up Ron Artest and, or like, uh, like a defensive and you saw the, the, guard. The, a big honestly, man. the best team, like maybe not the best team players-wise, but the best team build I think LeBron has ever played with was the Bubble Lakers. Yeah. The Bubble Lakers. Because you had a true five on the floor with Dwight Howard. You had AD yeah. at the four. You had Bron at the three. You had Rajon Rondo at the one. Like, And who they play? Who they play? They beat the, the young Jokic Nuggets and the... Yep. The young, but young, but still, that was a, a, a blueprint for like, okay, that's this is what Jokic will struggle with. A big, yeah, but who they be in the physical, finals? A non-big Heat team. Babies. A bunch of babies. They didn't have a true big. And Bam Adebayo is having oh, to try Oh, and to, did this Lakers team have, like, lights out shooting? You said you had Rondo, LeBron, right. Dwight Howard, and AD on the court at the same right. time. Right. You had KCP. Right. He could shoot the ball, but. But here's the thing. The majority you know, they try of They tried to it, do this. This is why I, when you talk about MJ, I said, like, it's as a guard, he did that. But LeBron, they did it with AI when he's on the Sixers. Yeah. They tried to surround him with a defensive team. They put Matumbo at the center to protect the paint. They had Eric Snow and Aaron McKee, defensive type guards around him. Right? They try to to try to emulate what MJ did, and he's going to run the offense. Yeah. And he's going to take the majority of the shots, whatever. He got to the finals once, but he couldn't do the run same thing. Run into Shaq, bro. Like, what are you doing? T Mac, same format. They tried to do the same thing. It didn't work. He got hurt. LeBron, they did the same thing. That Cavaliers team is one of the best defensive teams in the league at the time. It was Judas Ogalskis, and they had like. Um, Eric Snow was also at the point. They had certain people, and then they had like Mo Williams to help an offense. But Verge they had out, was Verge it was Verge um, Verge out was oh, it was later, but yes, but like that early. But that's yeah, Drew that good in right, It right. was a defensive. They tried to do the same thing: make sure we can rebound, have a defensive right. team, and have LeBron carry an offense. The problem was LeBron was obviously still young at that point, and his offensive game wasn't developed enough. But he couldn't carry the offense like that. Yeah, as a scorer himself. Right. And as an intermediate shooter, like post up yeah. game, so now it had to de- he had to change and become like a true 
because that's what he always did was like a point forward. Mm-hmm. But the the most successful point guard, which is essentially a point forward of all time, is Magic Johnson. But he had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So tough. Unless that's why obviously with AD, I always thought if you make him a uh, if you make LeBron like a three or a four, but he's the true post player, right? Like if he's in the bully ball, on the elbow, or on the block. you make him the point guard and you get yourself a real five. Yeah, like I said, I would I would I would love to seen, imagine LeBron and Embiid. I would have just loved to have seen him with Dwight for another uh, couple of years, man. I mean, like oh my gosh, imagine him and Dwight in prime in, Dwight. In the, oh, <laughs> oh bro. You know. So Stop. there's yeah, here's right, one other clip, and we'll end off on this one. Apparently, this is like a, something taken from the pot. I don't know what this is, but they're talking about uh, how this this podcast is not strictly X's and O's. There's a little bit more to it. Obviously, my, my first year in Miami, oh. yeah, we had a big three. And everyone said it's a super team. Super team this, super team that. But we had to build our team around all minimum guys, which Stop it. was still okay, but we didn't fill out – the complimented guys enough. Yeah, we had Rio, we had Udonis, yeah. you know, but we didn't we didn't have enough as far as oh, enough nice. complimented guys to actually make it all work. And we still made it to the finals. Obviously, my... my- Bro, no, uh, no, no. This is going to get bad. This is bad. This I, is what bad. did I tell this you? What did I tell you? Get this man off this of bad. the podcast, dude. This get him bad. away from... I said every week... He's gonna make it worse. This man, you don't say this, can't. and then you also can't. say you're, you can't. You can't. Then you can't proclaim yourself the goat. You can't say this can't, and yeah. also say I play like crap. You, the only way, the only thing you say, you gotta take full you, responsibility. You, you full to. responsibility. You have to. We had a bunch of minimum guys. There's a reason for that, Bron. <laughs> With super team this, super team that. Excuse me, you said not six, not seven. You knew that going into it. You took a pay cut. We we had guys like Rio. Oh, yeah, you had UD, but we didn't have like. What do you mean we didn't have? This is what grinds the gears I of know, the legends man. of the game. I know. Barkley, you and didn't have enough. Going, what you didn't? You had didn't three max. You didn't have enough. Meanwhile, Barkley is in the freaking finals. I can't with name another Dan Marley player. and Kevin Johnson. I was gonna say I can't name another. Tom player Chambers Ke- balling. Kevin Johnson is the only guy I can think of out of that team. And he's like, these are my guys. We rolling. And you talking about? Oh, I, I, you had Dwayne Wade. Just give me one. That's why Barkley was like, just give me one of those guys. No man, it's not good for Bron to be talking like that. No, he said we had a bunch of minimum guys, so we couldn't. What do like, you mean you had called it a super team? Everybody we had a bunch of watching guys. this is like you had Wade and Bosch at the time. And you're but talking the, about the most oblivious part of it is that Braun is the reason they have a minimum team, right? Every you have three max players. That's why your team is on minimums, dude. You don't it's have. Like, of course, you're no gonna more, fill the team. You just you just like there's no there's no more the money. League. Like if you right. wanna, if you can't you can't. <laughs> this is the problem. You can't complain that you have minimum players when you sign super max deals for three guys to make this super team that you wanted to be a part of. You can't then go, well, we should have had more pieces. No, dude, this was the point. The point was you you were the three pieces. Everybody Bro. else was complimentary. And this is what hurts because when you say like, I, I told you when this when this know, when this comes Bro. out because because MJ's over here like, just give me one other all star. That's all MJ has to do now. By the way. All he has to do now is go. <laughs> yeah, I had Scotty Pippen. He was enough. Just <laughs> that's all you have to say now. And people go, "Oh, what about Dennis Rodman?" Then Dennis Rodman was like around the league, yeah. like bumping from team to team at the time. Yeah, Spurs, he wasn't Dennis. He wasn't Dennis in. He in wasn't like off San Antonio. Pistons. He was or he already wasn't off Dennis the Pistons in, in uh, Detroit either. He wasn't the, either of those guys. No, no, he was like, we need someone to rebound. We Let's need get a this guy, guy that can grab rebounds and defend. We want we want a rim protector. We want somebody that's gonna be able to exactly tough the game nasty. down. Right, give me some extra possessions. You know what I'm saying? Get, give me the ball. Get out of the way. Like let like when you could when it's you say bad. that and then you're, and you're bad, like yeah I, I three peed it twice like <laughs> it's, bro, it's just bad. It's just bad. It's just bad. I told you. He said, bro. He literally said. We had a bunch of minimum guys where MJ is like, bro, give me anybody. Like, we're, 
Like, there's certain guys would even say that. This is the problem. I'm afraid Jameson. for this full clip. This is a 30 second clip from the episode. I'm afraid. Bro, guys, they're going to talk, talk about it. Like, like Jimmy Butler episode. wouldn't say that. Jimmy Butler's the guy that goes, Give me the. Give me the bench. Yep. Give me the third I'll stringers. I'll do it all. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Like, and people will respect that more. More than you saying, yeah, I wish we had more guys. And you're like, bro, you had a super team. And you can't <laughs> do that when you're like, they hated for like, this. And he's like, yeah, but we didn't win. Like, I know we, but we, but, but we won. But framing it like this But we is, won two. We won two. Like, you can't, no, you can't do that. It's a fail. The, the other thing Miami's is he's a fail. framing it like this is why we didn't win. That's the problem. Right. Even That's though he does why. say. I, I played like crap. I was the worst. Right. I should have been. He's like, we still made it to the finals, though. That's no, you can't. In the same breath, Bro, go. We still made win. it to the finals with the with the with the non complimentary. You, you, you can can't, never you say can't we still say made it this. to the finals. You can't do that. You can't. You can't say we still made it. You can't. You can say do that, that for one of his ring or one of his finals appearances, the 2005 team. You can do that. Yeah, we still, you know, we tried hard. We still made right, it. I right, was young. Still, I had a lot to you, learn. You don't want. You still don't want to hear from him. But like, you can't you have him say this. Right. Not with D Wade, not with Chris Bosch on the team. You can't. I'm you gotta so say no. Nah, we should have got him. I should have been there. I should have. I should have. I should have done that. I should have said you know the thing. I, mean? I should have been ten times better. My fault. Move on. You know, but the, when you have when you have um it's the qualifiers, what man, it's the qualifiers. Exactly, that's the word. When you do in qualifiers, and that's what it, that's this is what this is why Mario Chalmers call him out. If he's doing this like this, you know he's doing it with his team. You it's know my, he's doing it in the locker room. My favorite saying. It's my favorite saying. You know he's t- he's doing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, we don't want to hear that. Yeah, bro. And I can't I see my goat you, like t- this. I can't see my. Goat I told like this, you, dog. I told you, I said this is gonna be the worst. I literally got a clip. Get yeah, guys, find the clip, right? <laughs> and I said, this is the we are done with the '90s thing. I said, y'all got to stop, and let this man live because you're gonna run yourself out of the conversation. Yeah, Just like bro. when they had him on his uninterrupted, and he goes, that right there made me the greatest of all time. Let's look this at the is comments. Worse. Let's look at the comments and see what the people are saying because it's already started. He goes, so we gonna act like he didn't first say I needed to play ten times better. So that eliminates what he, he says here. Because he went to here. see Chip Kelly and Eric Spolstra really did. Yeah, that doesn't make that doesn't. But you're making it seem like he only mentions his teammates. He didn't hold himself accountable. How am I making it seem like that? You're so insecure. <laughs> okay, we will just argue. Uh, the this dude. is exactly what you do with LeBron every single day. Pull, okay, hold on. This, this, I'm looking at responses. Uh, Ray Allen. <laughs> oh yeah, we know. <laughs> about, but this is the, he's talking about the the 2011 team. But he, again, way, you're gonna get this stuff. Clip of him talking about that shot. It's amazing. When JJ, anyways, continue. Sorry. They oh, they're you think they're 100 percent gonna talk about that shot. No, no, but Ray Allen has a clip. He talked with JJ about that shot. I don't know if you saw. Oh, that. the, it's, the a, it's amazing. Spurs deal. The uh, shot, yeah, like game he, six. He talks about it in detail, and like JJ talks about it with Ray, and they talk about it as shooters. It's so cool. But anyways, keep look here. This is you. His ass went from not one uh, to we didn't have enough. So this is the problem, bro. I'm telling you, we were there. Not enough for complimentary it. guys. Yep. This is it. That's what I'm saying, dude. This you can't. is it. Yeah, this is gonna and be dude, bad. This, <laughs> this, this, this might the be wrong, the this is, bro. This is the, the turn. This is what we're gonna call this. This, this podcast should be called the turn. And you know, <laughs> you know what? You know what's always the Straight cause up. of the turn, is the uh, ain't no parties like a ditty party, dude. That oh. with this, I told you, bro. Get this. When I say get this man away from get the him, camera, get him away from the camera, bro. Get him Mike, away from the, MJ's the doing this. Bro. MJ's doing this. The laptop. Yeah. I know, bro. <laughs> do you think that? Do you think that? I, I, it'll be interesting when they put this no, episode three out. It'll be interesting to see how this next episode goes because these are all pre-filmed. It feels it, like so, some of these have been pre-filmed. The problem like. is they may double down and Bronco, yeah, see everybody because they're doing that already, like this part, like for the people. So they, you're like you're dumbing down the audience, dude. Yeah, you're already doing that a little bit. I'm wondering how far you know we people, get into people the, like what people think. You know, it's I like, wonder how far we get into the LeBron lore. Is my point. I I wonder if they go back to X's and O's shit after this because. I, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the podcast because I'm sure they're going to talk about the entire 2011 finals. If they're talking about that and what they need to do different, then they must have brought, talked it about it in detail. Because if they talk about it in detail, Bro. then you got to go to the other finals as well, right? You have to talk about Game 6 Ray Allen. You have to talk about the collapse, all of it. You have to talk about all yeah. of the things that he's been held to the fire with and hasn't really ever addressed. You have to talk about the decision, probably. Yeah. 
Oh no. Bro, and this and this the problem is what this confirms. This is confirming the other side of the argument where LeBron as like when you talk when when people talk about like when they see the last dance with MJ, right? Mm-hmm. And how does the the nuances and the um the intangibles affect winning? Yeah. And you take away the numbers? Yeah. LeBron is not going to win the intangible thing. When it comes to like how does the intangibles affect winning in terms of like mentality, like the mama mentality and things like that? Yeah. Was it just because the other teams are way better and LeBron was it like he didn't have the better team? Is it just that? Or is it his approach to the game? Is it all those things that we rate MJ for and Kobe for and other? It's like, just gonna be the the confirmation. Things, this is not gonna help him because when look, Mario look, Chalmers look at, called him out and he argued with him, look at JJ. Yeah, bro. <laughs> when Blonde I know when he said that too, JJ didn't say. I'm like, bro, JJ, this is your bro. The thing is, you it's always it's gonna be people seeing the mentality. Clipped. The thing that we've always wondered about LeBron. This is what they could question. This is what they. This is what people. Have no said. one's gonna take away the X's and O's. What they're going to take away is, what was LeBron's mentality? Just wait. Y'all going to research Skip Bayless's career like in two seconds. How about seconds, this? Dude. Skip's about to be Alex Jones with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Alex Jones was always right. That's how it's going to be. It's crazy. Anyway, what a, what an episode, man. We are out of here. <laughs> uh, the breakdown on all platforms. You can find us there. Uh, we're probably I'm going to watch this in the morning, and we'll probably talk about it next week. But <laughs> Yes. Outside of that, listen, in the wild world of sports, entertainment, and my dating life, we don't have the answers, but this is the breakdown. I can't take no loss. I'm-